week's episode of The Voice Party is brought to you by Big Boy Wraps. Get your car wrapped by some of the most experienced and skilled in the Bay. Big Boy Wraps, where the big boys play. This is good shit, bro. This is great shit. <laughs> this is great shit. Welcome, everybody, to The Voice Party, where dreams come true. <laughs> We have a very special episode. I got Joaquin here. What's up, Joaquin? Hey, hey. I got Natalie here. What's up, Natalie? What's up? What do you got in that fucking jug, homie? Water. Water. I got <laughs> Phil, <laughs> Professor X. Dun, 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 There's a ball. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> 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 oh, just grab the low the hanging fruit. Why don't you? <laughs> 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 Professor XXL. How about that? Now you calling me fat? Oh my god! Double, Can double XXL. XX. You guys can't talk. I'm doing this. Thing. You guys can't talk until I introduce you. Have you ever seen this podcast called Tiger Belly? Have you? Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, he gives his guests shit until they talk, and so until he mentions them, and they talk. Just, just, you can't talk. <laughs> so then he goes on about his day with his fucking co-host, and then and then they, they hey, hey guys, guys shut up shut up shut up and then have you you know Bobby Lee the comedian no oh my god you guys gotta watch Anyways. oh wait was he on Mad TV yeah yeah, yeah, yeah I know that yeah, guy yeah. I didn't realize he was a stand up comedian I yeah he was just yeah actor. sketch and he has a great podcast anyways very special guest one of my favorite local bands uh, I think this is the last time we're gonna have them before they like blow up it seems <laughs> then, then, they're not even gonna like reply to be like uh, sorry <laughs> new fan base who this <laughs> <laughs> introduce yourselves Marcos Nando David Juan Diego Yeah but I meant the We're tomorrow's June Oh there we go There we go <laughs> we, have, we have rehearsed this Oh you did Yeah My bad I fucking inter- Do it again Do it again right. Introduce yourselves I'm Marcos I'm Nando I'm David And I'm Juan Diego And we're tomorrow's, tomorrow's June. June Oh <laughs> Did you hear that Disney Did you hear that Nickelodeon <laughs> It's time for our own it's show Did you hear that Warner show. Brothers oh. Warner Brothers yes. yeah. yeah Would you have your own show I would Would yeah. you want to Yeah Like iCarly kind of yeah, um, it would be. It would have to be rated R if it was yeah, you guys. No, but you, know you what, guys no. aren't that clean. No, we're not. I just that think we'd never be able to show like, like, um, like, what are they called? The the bloopers and stuff. <laughs> like, yeah, I, I feel like that would just well, be I mean, like, no, show, that's not gonna. I mean, be you shown. can't show bloopers on from like that's true. Disney oh, and stuff either. They're true. all adults too. Yeah, yeah. Right. yeah. they make those kind of jokes. I mean, backstage. and, and you're, just for the Disney viewers, this is soda pop that's on the table right here. Yes. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. This is uh, uh recycling the bottles. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for pointing that out. Uh, this is good shit. This is good soda. That's what I meant. <laughs> exactly. That's what I meant. Exactly. It's really tasty. Let me some pop. Wait, wait, but you're I, of age. So who gives a yeah, fuck? Yeah, we're all of age. Yeah, yeah. It yeah. doesn't matter. And and we and, and so it is, is legal. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So it is legal. <laughs> also, my, enti- my en- I made you know I made an entire TikTok persona off drinking. So that's that's my- true. Oh well, no no no. You're you're killing your dad. I wanted. This is why I wanted to have you on here. You're causing your dad cirrhosis, dude. You gotta oh, no, stop no. that. <laughs> liver, liver failure. This guy. Yeah. You, you, oh, yeah. Don't it's be surprised if he like. Just, just, but but the but all the views pay for it. Yeah, oh, hold, so on, so hold, on. Yeah. hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on, let's explain to you what we're talking about first of yeah, all. Yeah, to the viewers who don't know. Yeah. Um, so I have a my uh, personal TikTok page kind of started blowing up. <laughs> yeah. Because I because you're killing your dad. Because yeah, I started offering my dad <laughs> shots at inappropriate times. It's actually just it's called offering him a drink at inappropriate times, so I could kind of get away with anything. Mm. Um, Is it water sometimes? I'll let you decide that, but no, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, no, I mean, I, I think I've used water like twice. Okay. Uh, just, and he was disappointed. Gas is collecting. Well, no, it I, makes, he doesn't talk like that. But I'm no, just he it makes him. It makes him like, like he'll, he'll be like, oh, thank God it wasn't tequila today because like, <laughs> I really like don't want to have a shot at like. 2 p.m. You know what I mean? He's like, I'm just watching TV. I want to have my beer. I don't like. I don't. Want, I don't want to have a hey, fucking shot. The only reason you gave him water those days because you fucking drank it all, probably, right? Oh yeah. So, <laughs> so here's the thing. Hey, too. we're out. Sorry. Yeah. When I go live, <laughs> and Nando knows because oh, he comes just, live with me all the time. We just get fucked up on. We just get trashed. <laughs> yeah. Because they're always like, "Oh, ask your dad for a shot." <laughs> you guys take a shot with us every two seconds. Someone comes in. I think the last time I went live, we had. Almost three thousand people on. Yeah, and 
every time someone came in, it was like, ask your dad for a shot or take a shot with us, blah, blah, blah. And of course, we're like, okay, guys, I, you know, I'm, I'm five foot six. I cannot keep taking shots like this. I, I think it's safe to say that if you if anything we're going to say here is not going to hurt your public image as much as you've already. Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> cheers to that. Yeah, cheers to that. Cheers. Salute. 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 Clinkety clink. Uh, no, but yeah, so it's... I it's made, fun to watch. Thank you. It's like he's fixing the house and you're like, hey, take a shot. And yeah. then I could tell when it, that's why I asked. Because yeah. when he does that, mm, mm, you know, yeah. Like, oh yeah, you're giving him real tequila. Yeah. yeah. No, I, I've done everything. <laughs> and if I don't know if you guys have seen it, but I've done everything from him fixing the house, sleeping, doing yard work, <laughs> sleeping, taking a shit, yeah. uh, taking a shower. shower. <laughs> I've done every possible thing um and the, it's like the first one was the best though when he was like on the the meeting for he was work. on a meeting at work and so we kind of oh that was the other thing too is we had to be really careful because he works for kaiser oh. and so i can't there's a lot of times where i film like 30 of them that i cannot post because they'll be like um you know hey mrs johnson or something like he's talking to some patient you know i'm using a fake name but uh you know, I, I know like this you is can't, your... you can't you know film that and put that on tiktok because that's that's yeah. your patient Conf confidentiality. Yeah. 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 yeah so. <laughs> I know I know you're passing soon, but oh hold on, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> what the uh, fuck? <laughs> or or hold on, wait a minute. Hold on. <laughs> It's cancer. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> he doesn't do that. He does, he's not a doctor. He didn't he's not make a doctor, it. so he doesn't have I know, to do that. I mean, but he's a social worker for end of life, so he does help so he people with the dying process. That's, that's why, literally his job. Yeah, that's why we can't. He is the end of life person. <laughs> yeah. I know, what, what was it? Cirrhosis? <laughs> <laughs> oh wow! Five days left. Five days left. Yeah. You shouldn't have drank. <laughs> <laughs> he goes, sir. You know, drinking's really bad for you. <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> But aside from your own, like, you know, toxic things that you're doing on Total <laughs> <laughs> the band's been growing. Yeah. But, like, you guys have, like, you're blowing yeah, up. Yeah, yeah. That's band. what I mean. Like, you fuckers are going to blow up, man. Like, I, I just that. know it. Yeah, the band's been Thank doing you. really well. I mean, quarantine has hit us really hard just yeah. because. That fucking right? suck. Yeah. Well, that's what I mean by blow up, because you're going to gain weight eventually. <laughs> I, like, I did. <laughs> Look at I definitely did. I'm just kidding. Sorry. Go ahead. Uh, no, no, no. But, yeah. like, <laughs> after, after, our, after our first sold out show at Yoshi's, man. Oh, I was three, there. Yeah, three days there. after the country goes down into shutdown. Wow. We yeah. had <clears throat> investors at the show that were like, okay, we're ready. We're putting our money down on the table. We had. Um, Promoter saying, "Okay, we got them on this. We had four we, shows we had actually four shows lined up, confirmed. Possible, uh, tours. possible tours, possible tours, like opening up festivals and stuff like that for the summers and and whatnot. And everything just went shit to yeah. shit to shit. Did you have I mean, any like Zoom shows or tours um, or so? Anything it's like that? really hard to do a Zoom show <laughs> when you don't have." the equipment to mic everything up mm. and stuff like that because then it just sounds like a giant blob of noise and we'd, okay. have, we'd have to be together yeah and that's, that's true and that was the other oh, thing is to be we couldn't be together yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. you know it's not you know my, my friend's band did a uh, zoom show mm -hmm. but it wasn't really a zoom show yeah. they kind of pre-recorded each other uh -huh. in their own yeah. homes yeah yeah, yeah. and then they they made like, like a, a video and yeah just, and made it like a, a show and like then they just played that video live i don't know if yeah. they did yeah, yeah like they premiered it or something yeah yeah and it was but it was live and mm -hmm. like, they were spawned to you and stuff. yeah yeah and yeah. it was weird but that's yeah because yeah well, that's how you had to do it though exactly because i mean look n none of us can i mean the amount of money that takes to to like do what these big artists are doing yeah. You know, have a live show, you know, sell tickets and you have a set and you have all this. It's it's not even theirs is not live 90 percent of the time. Right. You know what yeah. I mean? You got to pre-record it. You got to put it up because, I mean, yeah, I have can happen. I have seen yeah. like, you know, like one person acoustic lives, but that's one person, mm -hmm. you know, so it's that that's true. And that's you guys easier. Are, yeah. And that's easier because anyone can go up to because at the most you're doing what? plugging a guitar in or just micing the guitar and yeah. mic micing your voice and like mm -hmm. that's it yeah. I mean, yeah exactly that's that's easier you know especially like if we we're on the podcast he could mic his guitar real quick i sing yeah. the one mic mm -hmm. you mix oh, two did, little did things. you guys bring guitar no we didn't oh my god oh, that's why i invited yeah. you guys shit. Should have done that. shit fired Fired. Fired. <laughs> Isn't there a guitar oh, center around here? Warner Brothers has called. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the only one on DoorDash. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, man! I need it. I need it. I, I, need need it. I can't stop price. doing this. <laughs> Come on. Yeah, um, no, that would be an interesting thing. I need a guitar right away. Ooh, Somebody yeah, delivered. Oh, guitar center. Yeah, a guitar center. Like, yeah, yeah. 
for musicians. Yeah. Well, not dude. for regular people. Uh, it's just no dude, norm hurry up because I have this song in my head. Come I just have this song in my head, man. I, I need this synth right now, and I, if I don't get it, it I'm going to lose it. I'm just going to lose it. I'm sorry, dude. This beer is kicking. <laughs> I was going to say. I'm yeah. like sweating. And like, <laughs> earlier, no, no. the last session, I was so well behaved. I was like, so tell me this. Like, and now I'm just like, ah, I bring a guitar. And, uh, you know? Like, yeah, sorry. That's a million dollar idea. Write that down. Write that down. Yeah, uh-huh. for real. What are you guys doing, dude? This pandemic. You're sharing a fucking beer? We live together. He's my oh, okay. brother. Yeah, okay. we live together. We're roommates. Right. I forgot. You guys are brothers? Yeah. yeah. What? Oh, yeah. You didn't, you didn't know that? Give me a <laughs> I thought you guys. I thought you guys met, like, this before. This is my first. I know you guys have been on the no, podcast. No, no, no. Like, while I was, like, before they started. My bad. My, I should have introduced everybody you, before. You, you, no, you just. to the John or whatever? We did. I wasn't in the job, actually. I was definitely too. <laughs> yeah, you were. I, I fucking smelled it. We can yeah. still smell it from the I other side. I still smell it. Yeah. No, I, I was outside walking out the other gas. No, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. No, but anyway, yeah, they're brothers. Yeah. 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 They all are brothers. Mm-hmm. Yeah. No, I'm just kidding. David, especially. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, the funny thing is, he adopt his family adopted all of us. Who? <laughs> David. Oh, David. <laughs> really? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, it was really just the fact that they took a look at them and were like, they just look exactly like him. (laughs) (laughs) They look like (laughs) No one's going to know. No one's going to know. How could they know? How would they know? (laughs) It's crazy because you guys don't look like brothers. Really? At all. At all. People are always in the camp of either we we look look exactly exactly like like or we don't look anything. No, dude, you look like you are a fucking cattle rancher in like (laughs) somewhere in the south or whatever the fuck, or Uh, Colorado. Colorado, (laughs) Specifically. And you look like you're Ellen DeGeneres' cousin. (laughs) (laughs) No, I'm not. I don't mean that. I wouldn't mind that at all. Exactly. You're not the first person to say that. No, I know. I said that I said that on stage when you came to see me on one of the shows. Yeah. Or one of the shows. <laughs> yeah. I was laughing and he goes, shut the, he goes, shut up, Ellen DeGeneres. Like, I, my hair I feel bad on. about that. I no, feel bad no. about that. I love, oh, honestly, I, I got to tell you, I love going to comedy shows, local ones especially, because uh-huh. you never, it's, it's <laughs> insane how funny people, and how much funnier comedy is live. Yeah. It's so hard because 100%. if you're on Netflix and you're finding this new guy or new woman, yeah. you know, and it's just kind of a miss, yeah. you can easily turn it off, Yeah. right? But when you're there live, you can't a, turn it you off. You can't turn it off. But Unfortunately. but but night but but also, eighty percent of it is being there. Right. It's enjoying the live atmosphere. Magic. Live. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And that's the same thing with shows too. I mean, yeah. if you saw For a sure. show, it was. We found out, and we were super mad. But it was mixed terribly, like yeah. from the camera's perspective. Uh, I wouldn't have noticed. Yeah. But yeah. see, live, everyone said they heard it great. It sounded cool. Yeah. And then when we heard it back, because we didn't, because we don't hear what you guys hear out in the crowd. We hear what's in our monitors. Yeah. Yeah. And it's what's in our ears. Our we ears. only we only heard what we actually wanted to hear. I like, didn't hear specifically. you specifically. At one point, you cut out. Yeah. That's the one yeah. thing I'll say. And that, no. Yeah. At one no. Point that was and that was the like, biggest. The guitar? That was one of the well, my biggest things. Was missing the whole show. In was the that? Video. My guitar was missing the whole show. Oh really? Oh, yeah. Wow. Like, yeah. Like it, you couldn't hear it at all. It was just. Like my guitar was put down so much when most of our music is guitar driven. Yeah. And it's like it's very obvious to see Can hear. That shit up. And yeah, yo, she's Yeah. This is not well, good PR. Oh no, <laughs> well, we're, we're actually we're not going we're back. Not, we're not yeah. going, You're not back, going back? back? No. Hell no. no. That was actually fun, man. It's it's a cool <laughs> it is. They it were nice cool. they were nice to us. Yeah. Um we were very and I'll I'll admit that for how big we're not. Yeah. I was a very I was kind of I threw a diva fit at my manager and I was like, these guys call themselves fucking professional mixing engineers. They get paid yeah. for this shit. Yeah. And you're going to tell me you didn't save any of our, our preset, presets from, uh, from our hour check? fucking sound check. Yeah. Oh, you're no, gonna... They didn't take it seriously. Yeah. No, yeah. Not, that's not what not I hate about big clubs like that, where they don't take the Unlike, small local. Yeah. Yeah. Like you, you've been in Lincoln Park. Like, <laughs> yeah. Take me. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, dude. I hate, I hate. <laughs> it's the beer. It's the beer, everybody. <laughs> JD likes I, to pick on me just because I, I'm JD. All right. It's fine. Yeah, exactly. No, no, no. Hold on. Hold on. Because there, there can only be one, and no. they have to, like, see who, who's going to. Who's going to hold off. Time and who's going to hold off. Hold on. Time <laughs> I would have preferred Before, Chantha to be here, but... Oh, <laughs> dang. No, no, no. Straight up, straight up. I have a thing about when I, I notice someone looks like like a celebrity, 
it, it drives me fucking crazy. You know this, right? You, we've, you guys know this. Like, it just drives me crazy. Like, have you guys seen The Ranch? The movie The Ranch? Jesus Christ. Oh, I'm sorry. It's like it's okay. the ghost God. of Gaspar. Just. I know. Have you guys seen the, the, the show The Ranch with Ashton Kutcher where he's uh, like in the... Oh, I've oh, yeah. seen yeah. clips of it. Yeah. Like, he reminds me of a character in The Ranch right now. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. Like, I well, just... You kind of have that Ashton Kutcher greens. vibe in it's that show. Well, yeah, ex- yeah. And then, and then like, your facial hair and your facial structure, like, Max Shinoda in the end, it doesn't even yeah. matter. You know, like, yeah. I just think of that and I'm sorry. How do like, you feel about Linkin Park, by the way? I, no, I like them. It's fine. Um, yeah, well, yeah, you wrote yeah, all no, the songs. I'm, I'm a fan. I mean, I'm from... <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I need to drink water. <laughs> Here we are. Let's end this the podcast. Oh, we're already falling apart. This is beautiful. This uh, is awesome. It's a beautiful. I'll take that as a compliment. You I don't mean, take you don't take offense to this, right? No, I mean I'm just okay. waiting for the day that they're gonna say that he looks like me. That True. is true. Yeah. 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 <laughs> That's gonna be, be a meme on, someday. Totally, is. totally looks like dot com. Totally looks like. <laughs> yeah. That is that is, fist pumping for me, dude. Yeah, dude. Fuck. It, you don't look like anyone. You don't look like anyone that I know. So it's like you're just you're just Dave. Good. You like being just Dave? I'm cool being just Dave. Yeah. <laughs> the one and only. The one and only Dave. Yeah, exactly. It gives me some originality. Exactly. Oh, yeah. And and you don't look anything. Fucking Ellen wishes she looked like you, dude. She probably get laid more. <laughs> dude, if I look like Ellen, I'd probably get laid more. That's true. I agree. Yeah. <laughs> I want to look like Ellen. I want to look like Ellen. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. no, I don't mean any offense. No, you know, dude. I mean, yeah. obviously, me doing this to Gaspar eventually led him to leave. <laughs> oh, <wow. but laughs> And then my friend over here, too. <laughs> Look. <laughs> what are we, 17 minutes in before this This is all Miss Eric. I'm ready to fucking call it a day. 17 minutes? <laughs> yeah. Oh, shit. We're 17 minutes in, we're already falling off the rails. God Drink some damn. more water, JD. Fuck. No beer. No. Picks up the beer. Beer. No, no, no. So I'm really not. Geez. I'm really not. So drunk. <laughs> so the pandemic just started. <laughs> like, like four minutes ago, right? Like, you yeah. know, bringing it back. <laughs> Talk, talking about Yoshi's. Talking about yeah, Yoshi's. yeah, Yoshi's. Oh, yeah, yeah, Yoshi's. Okay. Yeah, yeah, you were talking all this shit about Yoshi's. Yeah. So. so <laughs> that boy's got the loudest laugh in the world. He does. I'm so sorry. He does. I can't. I, yeah. yeah, Yoshi's, I, I, it was a good show. Thank you. It's a, it was, you guys did great. I didn't hear you for a while. Like yeah. You cut out, and your guitar was super low Yeah. when you did play. Yeah. You guys, I heard, you know, I mean, Perfect. drums, yeah. you can fucking hear, you know. They had the drums up so high. The kick was overpowering yeah. almost everything. But it was think, good. But it was Thanks. good, though. Yeah. I, like, I, I actually liked was, your kick, too. The only problem well, with, with the drums that I noticed was... Throughout like two or three songs, and I think it was um, looking for. Mm-hmm. I was gonna anytime say, you hit the, anytime you hit the kick, yeah, yours and the bass just were feeding back like crazy. Mm, the moment yeah. you would hit your kick, it was just like gone. I think the same thing happened in Paradise too, yeah. which is mm. another one of our songs. It's real kick driven. Yeah. yeah, I love drums though. Mm. You know, I, mean, yeah. I used to play drums. I told you, yeah, mm-hmm. like, and, and like. The kick is I, I love when the kick is loud So for me I, I Oh I love it you. Having a good kick Through yeah. a PA And having it hit your chest oh, That's yeah. the shit I oh, love yeah. oh, like When you I go to arena concerts throat. And stuff That's yeah. what I love Me too You know what I mean Yeah, yeah. Same I want thing. that <laughs> So like I enjoy the shit Out of everything uh-huh. You know Especially that it is you guys And like yeah. Yeah. They fucking look like Rock stars Like <laughs> That's awesome Dude. Dude. I think we're really uh, yeah. One of the things That really carries us When we do We are Exactly We fuck around You know We are drinking in your backyard the day before right know? right <laughs> yeah talking about how bad is this covid really <laughs> <laughs> you remember that yeah the day before your show yeah we were in your backyard we were like yeah, I, I don't think this is gonna be we're that like bad. it should only last the two weeks this should be that's over that's what they said that's why yeah. they were like three weeks and yeah. i was like cool i yeah. have three weeks to work on myself turns out i had a year to work on myself and, and i, I didn't, like, do yeah. shit. I didn't <laughs> do shit yeah, yeah. <laughs> well well, David, you're gonna say something. Um, oh no, because you were just saying about how like the show was still good, but yeah. you know when we listen back to it, it's like this isn't what we heard. This right. isn't a good representation. But I think what really carries us is our energy. Because yeah. still on stage, like you said, we still look like rock stars. Yeah. We still perform. You sounded good. Out. Yeah. yeah. Thanks. Yeah. yeah. So like that, I think helped carry for the audience. And I'm yeah. still like, we still hear back from our family and friends. Like, no, that night was great. It's just you know it sucks to listen back and be us and listen to yeah. it and be like, dang, it felt amazing, but yeah. it's not right where we wanted it. But yeah. you know what? That's gonna come with you know, with time too. Yeah. We're going to go to bigger venues and we're going to get ripped off at some points. Right. Mm. And that's what every artist does. I mean, you go to, uh, you know, any show, yeah. you know, you're the opening act. You're not getting a sound check. You're like, they're a, 
push you on and play kind of thing and hope everything works. Unfair. Unfair. It, it does, is. But that's part of but playing you know what? You know what made me more upset, though, is because we... It was our show. It was our company's show, like our management team's show. It was, you know, the opening act was a, a roster sister of ours yeah. who, you know, were signed to the same manager. Oh, yeah. Andre, Andresia. 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 Yeah, Andresia. Yeah. yeah. She was great, too. Yeah, she was yeah. great. Yeah. And so it's like we're, you know, and our entire family and friends and everyone that was like there, they booked out that restaurant, too. Yeah. That was the entire before the show. It yeah. was everyone from our show. <clears throat> I appreciate you guys for the free ticket. Oh, of course. Dude, of course. <laughs> But, you know... For legal reasons, that never happened. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. No, I think someone... No, you actually got it fairly because someone... Someone flaked. Out. Someone flaked, so yeah. we got to give you the oh, ticket. Right. Yeah, yeah, Mr. Fucking Lawyer over there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, no, but, you know, and so... I take it back. There. I don't like drums that much. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, bro. Drum, Sorry. No, no, drums okay. and every drummer. It's all good. But, Especially um, tomorrow's June's drummer. Um, but, Not even your name. What happened, you know, was that they're like, oh, it's a local band. We don't really need to try for right. them, whatever. Yeah. And even and so we even the negotiations were like, you know, for touring bands, even if they don't sell out, we give them this amount of yeah. money, oh, whatever. Shit. Really? Yeah. And then they came to us. They're like, there's no way you're going to sell it out. If you sell it out, we'll give you an extra bonus, right? Yeah. We then sold it out. It was nothing. Packed. Dude, we had it's it like packed. They didn't believe we would get that. They didn't. Like, they, and they, they my yeah. our manager was fighting for... <laughs> a second show He was like dude We could do two shows Like give us a Saturday yeah. too yeah. Or, or a Tuesday I bet you we'll sell it out And yeah. like no We're gonna give a We're gonna give you A Monday night First off And I bet you guys Aren't gonna do anything Well we sold it out On a Monday night <laughs> <laughs> These people were here For our sushi First of all <laughs> yeah. Like oh they just All happened to buy tickets Yeah on a fucking Monday Yeah, yeah. they're all here For sushi Yeah um, yeah, yeah. <laughs> And I understand A restaurant That sucks being, man You know that, Yeah And the thing is like We We figured out that we made them maybe what like we almost made them 75 like 80 thousand dollars that more day. probably, probably yeah. more that place that. was packed and people were ordering a lot the of drinks. drinks yeah yeah a lot of drinks yeah. and we see we didn't even <laughs> see how many drinks people were having exactly. at the tables and stuff me and his Swiss crews were at a table oh, just, no. oh, just, no. just to give you an idea <laughs> 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 of what that night was like you know uh so yeah you guys and you guys like it was packed there was nowhere to sit yeah yeah, yeah. So it's like that's that sucks. So they do, they they are known to like prey on little, you on, know, on, on local acts. bands, young acts, young local bands yeah. on weekdays. Yeah, that yeah. sucks. Yeah, but you know, at the end of the day, we're grateful for the opportunity. We're never gonna say like, oh, no, for like, sure, we'll never like, or sorry, like we're never like, you know, we no, wish no, that never yeah. happened because yeah. we do. We loved it. We actually mm -hmm. absolutely felt like rock stars for the first time ever. And it'll happen again. It will. It will. But I think that we're going to try to venture out and see new venues. We're going to try this, this, and that. I'm not saying we'll never go back to Yoshi's because at yeah. some point we're going to have more leverage too. You know what I mean? Exactly. Yeah, throw in some Philadelphia rolls and we'll talk. Yeah. <laughs> Free sushi. You know what I want? No, you know what I will say though. <laughs> they so hooked us they up. They hooked us up. They hooked on us the food. up with food though. Oh my god. Oh wow. God. Okay. We had. If I, I'll show you a picture. I'll find something later. But we had sushi platters. We had salads. We had. Oh, our dressing like room. Like teriyaki platters. And the dressing like, rooms it, were, There was like five huge plates and then like six other small like side plates. Like The dressing rooms were really nice too. Yeah. That was like the first time we had a real like green dressing room. room? Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's great, isn't it? Being it's in the green room. so nice. I've been in the green room Man. before for shows mm -hmm. and it feels so special. Yeah. Like, it, there's a little more legitimacy. Legitimacy. Yeah. Too. To having a green room Even and not just standing on the side of the stage with like the rest of the crowd. Right. Like, okay, now it's your turn. Yeah. yeah. You know? Yeah. yeah. For coming in from the crowd, you know? Yeah. Right. That's that's what I was like at the San Jose Improv Green Room. It was yeah. so like, wow, like I'm a tourist, you know? Like, <laughs> yeah. The, the Richard Pryor's uh, signature on the wall. Oh my God. Yeah. You know? Yeah. It was awesome. So like, and then they bring you food. That like that, that feels dope. Like, yeah. 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 They bring you food and, and beer. Yeah. And, um, yeah. Do so. they let you guys like? Is it like music where like, I mean, it's your fault if you get too drunk before a show. Like, can you drink as much as you want, or is there uh, like caps for comedians too? Well, the the what the times I've been there, uh, -huh. uh there wasn't a cap for food. Okay, but for, like for <laughs> drinks though. The drinks, I think they they like for us they were charging. Oh, okay. Yeah, I think mm. the yeah for drinks, not not food. Not food. Food we were eating for, for free. free. Yeah, which you know, I mean, all right, yeah, but and, yeah, I don't know how it is for like a like a because this was like on a fucking Tuesday, you know? Yeah, yeah. But it was a, it was like it wasn't yeah, and um, yeah, because most times as a band, if you play any bars or 
places that have bars they'll allow you one drink ticket per band. Oh, yeah. 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 You yeah. know what I mean? So per it's like band? Yeah, per band, band member. member. Oh, I was yeah, like, yeah. you all shared a beer? Yeah. <laughs> Pass it around. Well that's, well, that's what sucks too because like, yeah, it's a beer or a wine or something like that. Yeah. If you want it like a Manhattan or something like that, you can't. That's like $2 extra yeah. off your, on your yeah. ticket. When you guys were working the Super Bowl thing, um, what was it, Imagine Dragons? Uh, no, 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 One no, Republic. Was, uh, One, One Republic, Republic, yeah. One Republic. Did, um, were you guys doing, the, like... Everything. Tasting the drinks and stuff? Yeah, 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 yeah we did everything. We no, oh, wait, that's free, because when you hire a catering company to work your event, and, like, we it's did high-end just... catering, so we worked for One Republic, we did... Um, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought you, know, you guys were opening for... No, 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 no. no <laughs> I, I wish. Serving them. <laughs> we were serving them. Um, but we were, ser- we were serving them. Yeah. Um, and... We yeah, did take their apple. Yeah, we took their apple. We had their set list. <laughs> yeah. And, well, because we worked their green room, and we also worked the um, the staff's room. Yeah. Oh, okay. So yeah. the guy the, who prints the out mixing, the green room, yeah. Yeah. Or, prints out all the stuff, he was like, do you guys, like, want one of these? And we're like, yes. <laughs> yeah. So we have one of those. I, I saw the uh, catering for at WWE, because I worked backstage for WWE. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Oh, wow. And, like, yeah, I think I've mentioned that to you. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Because um, you well, worked at the Chase Center. Chase Center. I actually saw catering for Metallica, too. Uh-huh. And uh, James, uh, no, Hatfield. John Mayer. Like, they all ate the same no, shit. No, seemed, James Hatfield. No, no, no. James, no. John Mayer oh, John also. Mayer. John Mayer one night, oh, and then Metallica another oh, night. Oh, oh, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, yeah. Another night. And, like, WWE <laughs> seemed to have, like, the healthiest food. Well, yeah. yeah. No, no, <laughs> nobody had alcohol, like, on the catering. Because they don't usually put... Alcohol. That's more in your green room. In your green room. Because be, yeah, they, don't the want, green room. they don't want staff drinking. Yeah. If, you, if you have yeah. alcohol, it's on your bus. Okay, because yeah. I know for comics, uh-huh. this is stuff I've heard. For big uh, tours? No, from like comics who've opened for other comics. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. I don't want to say names, mm-hmm. but like comics that are well known. Yeah. Like they'll like request stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Like I need it. I can't perform unless I get it. You know. Uh, well, that's what that's what musicians do. Yeah, I'm sure that's the same thing. It's on it's your like, writer. Yeah. You know. And it's like, okay, we'll we'll find that in the co- and you know, because one of my actually Just Butch no told, told me about comics. He would have to bring like you know, like they hit him up the club because he used to perform there. Like mm-hmm. this guy wants weed. You know, you know, like bring it. Okay. Yeah. Now I know who to hit up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, now it's legal, so yeah. yeah, yeah. But like other stuff too. Not him, but other people. Oh, you want to know something crazy? So we set up One Republic's <laughs> writer and everything, and on their writer, because you get a giant paper and stuff like or paper with a long Just list. It, yeah. And it was remember it was like ten blue solo cups. Yeah. Chilled it was... in chilled in the cooler for ten minutes and then put it on the table. Yeah, oh, wow. because that's how they like it. It was very specific. It was the, very, the, very the specific. Solo, the but solo it wasn't cup. like yeah. It was, we're doing spe- that from now on. Specifically, ten blue solo cups, not red ones, not yellow ones. Blue. Sur trece, homie. Fucking one republic. Yeah. yeah. I'm not even surprised because I, I like just by like being online and like seeing yeah. random articles and yeah. stuff like that. There's yeah. lists about like. Artists yeah. who yeah. request crazy, yeah, yeah the crazy craziest things writers. Yeah. But you know what? It's I. It's not the craziest <laughs> thing in the world, too, because say not all of them. Not all some of them. are fucking. Extreme. You know what though? But if you're if you want curtains and you want a couch within your room, you have to remember this too. The artist is supposed to be, feel comfortable. You're yeah. supposed to be getting ready for your show. Right. The places that your green room is in, mm. that's the the locker room for the basketball players. There's no giant couches and TV and so, you know yeah. it's it's a bunch of lockers. Yeah, right, you right. you want to cover that. I don't want to see no offense but <laughs> you know it's cool to see Steph Curry's but I don't want his stinky shit. Yeah. When yeah. I'm trying to get ready for a show. I want right. my couch, I want my, you know, what the things that I, I want need. My I want my stinky shit. Right. I want my ta- you know, <laughs> yeah. a table, some catering and stuff. Something that makes me feel homey that I don't feel like I'm in an arena. Can I tell you what Justin Timberlake requests yeah. after mm. every show cuz yeah. I actually talked to one of the people that that, that worked for him. That worked. That worked for him at, at other places. Yeah. At Chasener. Um, right after the show's over, he wants the hot tub ready to go, and he wants like certain drinks there. Yeah. That's right amazing. after the show. Yeah. Sounds great. Like, like, right, awesome. like, like as soon as right? I'm done here, like take me into that room. And most arenas have hot tubs. Hot for tubs. The, yeah. For the, the, yeah, yeah, for the stuff. So oh, like yeah, yeah, that's his, that's yeah. his specific little thing, you know, and um. Uh, I saw what's your name Sasha Banks. Yeah, I saw her little dog. He actually sniffed my my feet. Uh, you know her little dog. Yeah, I definitely yeah. thought he was gonna say yeah. he sniffed my nuts. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, couldn't reach him. <laughs> it's a little dog, bro. But but like they had, she had a request like the, her dude or whatever her personal assistant had to yeah. walk the dog outside. It's like I thought it, this is where the hood came in. It was like 
dog. I could literally just take this dog and <laughs> ransom. <laughs> like, so easy. I could just. Sasha Banks just won the title, huh? Yeah. Yeah, she mm-hmm. did. At WrestleMania? 10,000. Yeah. 10,000, 25,000, she'd pay for that dog. That's that's what came to my head. That's hey, who, I know that's horrible. You better, no, no, you gotta you gotta understand though. They're wrestlers. They're not. They're not like no, no. they're famous. Yeah, but they're not rich. Rich. They're not rich. Rich. Yeah. But twenty five thousand like, is because even seem... like Natalia and like, I mean, if you you ever watch the show Total Divas, did you guys ever see that? No. Sure, okay. Probably. Yeah. yeah. Well, if you've seen it, you see that they'll go to their houses and stuff, yeah. and you're like, oh, this is like. The same house my aunt has. Yeah, they, yeah they, like they, they're, they're not unless I mean there's very rare instances unless you're John Cena mm-hmm. or the Rock or the, or the Rock when he was on top of yeah the when shit. he but even now because he's a movie star yeah you know the highest paid yeah, actor who yeah the if you're not actors, them yeah. I mean have you seen Chris Jericho's house it's not that he was on Tanked on an episode of Tanked it wasn't that big at all yeah you yeah. know it wasn't like mm-hmm. oh my God I'm seeing Chris Jericho every Sunday or every Friday night I'm thinking this dude's making bank mm-hmm. well you're not making that much bank if that's all you know if that's what you're getting in florida yeah you right. know yeah because so. i mean that's more like musicians too like not all yeah. i'm not saying like you know just because um, you're on coachella stage doesn't mean right. you're making bank yeah that's true like when i when i met those deftones guys yeah they didn't look rich you know yeah. mm. they look they cut you know i don't know they weren't with security or anything you know they were with their boys and I think I saw you know they just did and then they still live in Valle in Sacramento which uh, they're still like modest you know right and that's that's that, I'm 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 not I'm I don't, like I'm not saying they don't they can't afford it what the fuck's going on over there you guys are conspiring oh I, uh, you guys have been like looking like he needs secretly like talking to each other and like laughing I'm oh, jumping what? over his head <laughs> what 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 oh, yeah that was because your joke flew completely over my head so he was just explaining it to me so I oh. yeah, that was I need you was. I need yeah. you at every show. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, tell the whole crowd uh, here. Yeah, speaking to the mic, like yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> that's hilarious. My humor cr- translator, fucking. He has like oh index cards. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what he really meant. <laughs> yeah. Slideshow. No, I look. Uh, now on the subject of writers, uh-huh. is like Metallica is the one that has the all blue M and M's in the bowl, right? I have not heard of that. I, I haven't heard of that myself. I haven't heard of that, but like that's a great. So I I forget which band. Do you know why they did that? Yeah, it's it's they the way they explained it is. <laughs> There's a connection their, their with the Mexican show, mafia. Well, no, their their show requires like special rigging and stuff like right. safety, yeah. and so in the list of things that you need to do <clears> to prepare <throat> for the stage show to make sure no one dies, <laughs> like. Yeah. It, their proof is okay if someone follows it to the letter and there's a bowl of blue M&Ms there that means that our stage is probably going to be safe yeah. but if the bowl of blue M&Ms only are not oh. there that means they didn't care enough to fix the stage so no one yeah it's basically they put it in there oh. not because like they're divas they're like we want to make sure you're paying attention right. because if you notice the little things then you'll notice the big things I yeah. just want to say I heard some stuff about Mariah Carey and I feel like it is diva related but that's just no I'm <laughs> for some artists well no Mariah Carey has a, a she's a diva yeah, <laughs> there's, there's some crazy stuff on her writer. Um, but I mean, the other thing too is like what people don't understand is like y- y- these are people that are, you know, they're not only doing press all day, they're doing this, this, and that. Then they're working on, on a, new then shit. They're working on new shit. They're writing mm-hmm. behind the scenes. They have to answer. 20,000 emails a second. You rehearse know? a lot. Rehearse a lot. Then they're playing Sound two-hour check. shows every yeah. night in a new building where. They're so big, they can't even go outside to the corner store to 7-Eleven to buy a nope. bag of beef jerky. You got to send someone for that. Yeah, uh, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And, you know, uh, these people uh, yeah. want the one sense of normalcy, right? Yeah. So if they want seven bottles of wine because they have friends coming that show yeah. and they want to drink a bottle to themselves and they want a couch in their room and they want it looking <laughs> nice, it's not that big of a deal, actually. It's not. In, in, the, in, the, in, in the, the realm of things. Scheme. In the grand I, scheme of things. Yeah. I you saw know. I saw a video online it's on Fight Hub. It's a famous boxing mm-hmm. channel. Yeah. Of uh, the the actual Fight Hub guy. Yeah. He went with Floyd Mayweather right after Floyd Mayweather beat Canelo back in like 2013. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. He went with with Floyd to get McDonald's. Floyd just wanted to celebrate. Mm-hmm. That was his. He his drove flight. his car to a McDonald's and he got a breakfast uh, burger. Yeah. And um, and then he pulled into a. And then he was talking to him and he was showing him like his music. He, he seemed like normal right then and there, yeah. you know? Then he they pulled up to a gas station and Floyd Mayweather saw there was no people and he got excited. 
He's like, I'm gonna run in and get like newspaper. You know, oh, that yeah. that was his thing. Oh, yeah. And then hella people pulled in and they were like, Oh, Floyd, Floyd. And he's like, Fuck. I can't do anything, bro. He told the guy. So he's yeah. like, Yeah, like I can't. I, I. He's like, If I get off right now, it's it's crazy. He's like, I can't do anything. And then he he looked like dead inside when he was saying that. Even though he's like in his flashy car, he's flashy dude. He looked like like right then and there, like he's dying inside because he yeah. he just wanted to get off and get newspaper. Yeah, like yeah. that sounds crazy. Like, but he can't. As soon as he pulled in, like people a knew. horde of people pulled in. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because yeah. I mean, at yeah. that point, it's and like, that was in Vegas. I can't even live life. Exactly. Yeah. So I'm gonna go You're buy a caged animal, dude. <laughs> was that? You're a caged animal. Like yeah, exactly. By people, the, and that's yeah. the worst kind of thing to be yeah. <laughs> by people. <laughs> yeah. And it's so ironic because these are people that that adore your work or, or yeah. think they right. adore you, and and mm-hmm. yet it's causing you some kind of pain. And they think they love you they, they to a certain extent. You know? you know, the one thing though you have to, I think, accept, and that's why like Floyd will never go back to being normal. Yeah. Um, same thing with you know some of these famous celebrities like Metallica. They're never just gonna be like, fuck it, we're done. You right. know what I mean? Uh, you have to appreciate the side of that. Mm-hmm. You wanted to do this. You signed up for this. You became the biggest of the biggest mm-hmm. in what you do. This is part of it. It's yeah. part of the job. And unfortunately, mm-hmm. you know, there is, there's some cons, but just big no, pros. but just know <laughs> that you don't have what you have without these people. Exactly. Mm-hmm. You know yeah. what I mean? Yep. All the good shit. All the good stuff. Comes from this fucking crazy shit. Are you guys thinking about that when like you, you, something, what the I, fuck's going on over there? Why are you? <laughs> I have to shit again. Huh? I have to shit. Oh, you do? <laughs> oh, Jesus. This I mean, go for it. Yeah, yeah, I don't care. I'm so sorry. Yeah. What, what is this? What's up with this guy? <laughs> oh, my God. Take a seat. Get your mic, homie. All right. That's good. This breaks up. up guys? Days right. from tomorrow's no. <laughs> this, All right. this breaks up this little fucking it conspires over here. We're working on the next Lincoln. That was him. Working on the next Lincoln Park <laughs> album and shit. <laughs> I just want to uh, state that I will be coming alone next time. <laughs> oh, wow. I have done nothing. <laughs> no, no. I'm, I'm, no I'm totally just kidding, bro. I'm no, totally just kidding. Yeah. It, I'm it, just kind of kidding. What did you guys... You're not. You're <laughs> no. not. No, I need them to drive. And what did you guys uh, listen to growing up? Just, you know... Ooh. Oh, back to the back to music. Yeah, no. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. By the way, these guys do music. <laughs> yeah. Oh, By the way, we have a song out. Oh, yeah, yeah, exactly. We, 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 let's, we, let's answer her question first, and then we'll yeah. go to that. Ooh, um, yeah. Growing up for me was uh, a lot of Michael Jackson, a lot of Prince, like you know classics. Because yeah. I was, my music taste came a lot from my parents. Okay. So like waking up every Saturday morning, you know, all of a sudden I hear Bad playing on the surround sound in the front room, and I'm like, ooh, Michael Jackson. I'm like, mm-hmm. oh no, this means it's a cleaning day. <laughs> so you know, that, you know, it was uh, always surrounded by it. it. Had some negatives to it, but no, definitely growing up, it was all that and I was a super big Michael Jackson fan just because I would see his performances and I was like dang this man is a star He's so what, when were your when were your parents born um my mom was born um well my mom was raised over in uh, Santa Rosa hmm. and my dad over in Pittsburgh okay yeah Pittsburgh California Pittsburgh California okay, yes. okay. <laughs> yeah. but what, no what, 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 how, like what year were they born when? oh when sorry yeah when 1960s oh okay okay yeah. so yeah, did you grow up listening to like a lot of like like old like uh funk stuff too a little bit a little, bit. No, a little less so surprisingly really but yeah a little a uh, little bit of like old funk and then they were really big um just uh, my dad's a pastor so a oh. lot of it was also like some kirk franklin some gospel thrown yeah in yeah, yeah yeah okay yeah um, um for me and Nando, it was basically um like yeah M- michael jackson prince mm-hmm. my dad's a huge prince fan so he's gone to like every show that prince oh, has really? done out here before he died really yeah oh wow um that's where that cover came from huh yeah oh yeah 100 yeah. percent. they, they did an awesome cover of uh, prince let's go crazy oh, yeah. let's go that's crazy. how we end our shows that's how they end the show that's um, so cool it's so fun uh yeah oh it's it's because people don't expect it from us too mm-hmm. you yeah. know what i mean they're like oh this young band they're definitely not gonna play prince. Know, a prince song yeah and then just like, jaw drops in the audience yeah. just, and yeah. you just hear i'm like dude I was, I was surprised. Goes crazy. <laughs> yeah. That would be. Uh, that is the greatest feeling when you go dearly beloved and everyone just goes. <gasps> that's the moment at yeah. a concert where I would just be like, Oh my god, what? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what? yeah. No, hundred percent. I, I didn't expect that from you guys. I thought you would end it with an, a Maroon Five song, or mm, or you know, because yeah. that's the way you guys just, like. It seems like your biggest inspiration. Yeah. So Maroon yeah. Five ended up being a huge inspiration for me personally, um, but. Spanish bands like Mana. Ooh, uh, love them. Our mm. first concert ever was Alejandro Fernandez, Chayanne, and Mark Anthony. Damn. A trio wow. at Shoreline. Mm. Um, so we have, you know, influences all over the board. Mm. And then even growing up as kids, you know, you had the uh, 
you know, the little emo phase thing. <laughs> and then you have, you know, I learned a lot of the rap and R&B from my cousins because I, my parents didn't listen to that stuff. Mm. So I had to learn growing up. Yeah. Um, and then, you know, just from there, it's just kind of evolving always about what we're listening to. But Maroon 5 for me definitely is a huge uh, influence. Mm. Kind of how we started the band. Also, you know, Jonas Brothers. I mean, everything. It, it really is you, true. You, you that radio also, Disney. Yeah, yeah I know. Radio Disney. That radio. AM 13. I mean, but we were kids back then right. when we started the band too, when yeah. we got influenced to do music. Mm. Mm-hmm. So you got, you got to remember like, that's, that's what we were listening yeah. to. And when you're seeing like these kids, you know, the Jonas Brothers who are selling out arena tours their kids too and their yeah. kids yeah. and yeah. and the music industry is not even not even noticing them mm-hmm. you know it That's wasn't crazy. until they left disney when they go oh you guys have uh you're nominated for best new artist and they're like <laughs> we we've sold out more arena tours than than the people that have been nominated in the past 10 years yeah mm-hmm. and they still can and, they, do, and they're they still, still doing it yeah yeah and we went to their last tour and it was amazing you know wow. so do you have a favorite maroon 5 album yeah and no um hmm. As a fan, I I love everything. Mm-hmm. Um, as a musician, the first album. I was about uh, to say, I'm serious with you. Like, if he doesn't say songs about Jay, songs I am <laughs> getting up and leaving this booth. <laughs> That's the pinnacle. What, what about you? Uh, that was give me a please. Well, give me a please. Okay, so, um, <laughs> All right, there we go. Uh, I was born in Peru, so my, my parents are from there. Oh, like, you were born in Peru? Yeah. yeah. Oh, wow. But I, I came that. when I was like three, though, so pretty yeah. much barrier raised. Yeah. yeah. Um, yeah. But, like, from that side growing up, my mom was listening to all the. Um, like the Spanish singers, like Jose Luis Perales yeah. and like all those ballads. And my dad was a bass player in, a, in multiple bands. So he listened to like American classic rock yeah. and Spanish rock, like En Anitos Verdes, Sol Estéreo. Did you guys listen to Chicha? Um, a little bit, but they weren't really fans okay. too much of like that kind of stuff. Too psychedelic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm a big fan of that. That's why I asked. You oh, say you're I, I am too. But like from from like my parents' side of the influence, not right. too much. Okay. Uh, then later on, uh, I got super into the Beatles. That's what like me and Nando like bonded yeah. over when we first met in high school. Mm-hmm. And um, yeah, from then on, just um, just kind of slowly expanding. <laughs> So I'm, I'm going through puberty. I'm going through puberty. Are you nervous, dog? Uh, this is like a casting couch. Fucking. Uh, <laughs> they normally don't let him talk. He's he's he's, he's not used to it. Uh, oh, Hi guys. Uh, <laughs> sorry, bro. No, you're all good. Um, and, yeah, and then once I got to high school, I really expanded my um, music taste a lot more. Yeah. Um, a lot of Radio Disney. Um, <laughs> yeah, way back when. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What was Radio but, Disney? Uh, radio- I'm sorry. I'd, yeah, I'm like, oh, you really oh, don't I, know? I don't know. Yeah, oh my god. Oh, Radio Disney is just um, like you know, so all the like the TV shows we used to watch, mm-hmm. uh, you know, anything from like the Cheetah Girls movies okay. to the Jonas Brothers. Mm-hmm. Camp oh, Rock, I see. Everything they would Hannah yeah, Montana. Okay. They would play those songs. It was like radio for kids. Right. Yeah. Like, they had- before that, before Disney was cranking out so much of their own material, Radio Disney was essentially the pop stars of yeah. the late 90s early 2000s right yeah. Britney so, Spears yeah. Justin Timberlake yeah. Mandy Moore and th- that stuff was yeah. mixed in with their di- with like their show music stuff yeah, yeah. and yeah, cause and during they that, made the transition from yeah. what I remember cause during that time they were they were doing those Disney concerts and they were bringing Britney Spears on and in sync and, 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 and yeah. um, what was one of the other bands they did like a there's a, a boy band that did a track off the Inspector Gadget was movie. it Backstreet Boys no 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 um, it wasn't the Backstreet Boys it was like um, Youngstown Oh, right. Uh-huh. You can call me when you want me if you need a yeah, friend. Yeah, they had like the one celebrity track everything. on every movie. Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. We, you know, you can figure it like gadget. Anyway. Yeah. This one. <laughs> but that was on Radio Disney. But the, yeah, but that was the kind of stuff. So basically they would just play like, and now it's like, just like every other pop station in LA, but it's like the clean versions of. Oh, yeah. No, but it's of, like, they have. Now, because there's no such thing as like. Kids Bop. <laughs> no, it's not even Kids it's Bop. It's not even. No, it's like, uh, like, it's like actual. Like Maroon 5 has the song, uh, This Summer's Gonna Hurt Like a Mother. Oh, mm-hmm. yeah. Ever, mm-hmm. Right? We can I, we can cuss right. Can, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, <laughs> motherfucker. We all have. I don't know why. Like, I just like <laughs> sound, stop myself. It sounds like you have to root for yourself to cuss. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but like this song, this summer's gonna hurt like a motherfucker. Yeah. That's the song. Yeah. And they were playing that on Radio Disney. What? Like for a while, but they were just yeah. Going, really. This summer's gonna hurt like a mother. Aha. <laughs> so like it'd be like stuff like that. Like they, you know, you have to get the clean versions <laughs> of all these funny. songs. Yeah. Well, we we talk a lot about. Like, like, especially when we have artists, I don't know. I mean, of course, that's the thing, dude, like, to understand, like, what your, your, um, 
it called? Where your uh, inspiration comes from? But like, mm -hmm. what's one of the most recent like music? Because I am always looking for new music, bro. Like, not new per, per se. Like, I recently got into Hector Lavo and Larry Harlow. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you guys even know yeah. who that. You know, yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't. Old cumbia from yeah. like uh -huh. the seventies, sixties. Yeah. Like you know, classic shit, man. I, yeah. I, I had no idea I would like. You know, and it's and it's a uh, Larry Harlow the guitar shit like crazy like it's a vibe. It's a vibe, yeah. yeah. And, and Hector Lavoe, so and, and then recently one of my favorite <laughs> bands is the uh, Budos. You guys familiar with Budos band? Mm -hmm. It's a New York Afro Afro beat uh, okay. band. Did and, you like, play some of that? I did play some of that the yeah, other day. Yeah, it's good. It's good. Yeah, and then like that's. I could do that all day, bro. <laughs> like just yeah. looking for music online yeah. and yeah. whatever. And like for you guys, what's like something like personal that you guys have found recently that like, you know, you're like, a, oh, I never thought I'd like would get into this. Uh, there's an artist that I just found. Her name is uh, Lafi. Is how you say it? Uh, she's just a singer songwriter from, uh, but she's Icelandic. Oh. And like, her her stuff is like slightly jazzy, but also like, I don't want to say bubblegum, but like, just. I, it's hard to explain. It's, its, it's really hard to explain. It's kind of its own thing. Yeah. That's what I love. Lafi. I'm curious. Uh, L a u f e y. Lafe. Okay. Yeah. Lafe. Lafe. Yeah. I don't know. Um, <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. No, like but that. But yeah, but but with your her stuff ass. is just like yeah. it, it, it's so mellow too. It's, it's like, Lafe. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it's, it's super mellow. She actually just won um, like the Icelandic. Um, oh, what was it called? The, Something not related to music. No, no, it was for. <laughs> I'm kidding. Music. <laughs> the um, Good Samaritan like, uh, Award. Yeah. <laughs> no, like uh, the the up and coming artists, like oh, Icelandic yeah. up and com coming artists. Okay. So like, and she's she's new. Like, yeah, she's, that's, she's she that's what I like. Very new. Finding and, these new musicians. Yeah, she only has like four songs, mm -hmm. and all of them I just I just fall in love with, and like her voice too is so unique that it's just like I don't know what it is, but I'm just like. Just drawn in. Drawn. I'm sold. Yeah, I'm just. I'm, gonna listen I'm to her. just gonna listen to her, yeah. whatever she puts out. Nice. Uh, for me, it's uh, actually my buddy's band, uh, The Color Wild. Mm. Oh, you I, you sent me that. Uh, yeah, I, I haven't listened to them yet. Oh, okay, check but, them out. Yeah. I mean, they're they're similar to us in the sense of like pop music, but they're a real band and they play you know all their instruments. It's not you know mm -hmm. really track based at all. Yeah. Um, there's musicianship. Musicianship yeah. that that we've all been craving for back you yeah. know when 2013 was you know mm -hmm. having all these kind of bands come out i i really love them and i've been in the studio with them a few times and they're just really inspiring to me yeah so like i really like i fuck with them a lot yeah so, you i i have yet to check them out because yeah. it's it's um it's different if you send me a track like i click on it it's the music I can listen to it when you tell me this band is great, and you just send me like I'm not saying you and anyone, mm -hmm. and you just send me their Instagram. It's like yeah, yeah, like I'll oh, get yeah, to yeah, it later. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm not saying no, I won't listen no, to it. No, it's because it you is, have to do work. I'm it, like I don't want to do work. It, you do the work for me. I hate to say that. It's what it is. That's one of my flaws. But that's what it is. Because it's, it's not just your flaw though. That's, that's it's literally everyone. everybody. Because yeah. I'm not doing the work. If you really think they're that great, do the work for you. Don't yell at me, okay? I get it. I'm kidding. Yeah, taking a chance on a new artist that you've never heard before mm -hmm. unless it's recommended by someone's opinion who you really really trust, trust. and it's your yeah. kind of music yeah, yeah. right it, it takes time you know it takes mm -hmm. effort even if it's only three minutes long you could be spending three minutes doing something else you know what's so yeah. funny that it's such a hassle nowadays because we get bombarded by so much new music from independent artists even All like in our daily lives yeah. right there's people that we don't know on instagram people are following us and be like hey we'd love for you to check out our this this and that <laughs> i mean do you guys That's have you guys heard the thing about how many new songs get uploaded to spotify every day uh 60,000 60, oh, wow. 60,000 songs get uploaded to spotify Jeez. every day just like podcasts podcasts too <laughs> fucking podcast. there's, now there's a million podcasts yeah. out there yeah so <laughs> how do you compete you know what i mean it's yeah. it's hard now so how do you keep up how, that's a yeah. as a listener. I mean, as a I was telling, as a musician. Yeah, I was telling Nando that yeah. this is kind of a different thing. But um, back in the day, it was like, oh, you write a hit song, it's a hit, yeah. right? Now you write a hit song, and it's not a hit anymore. Mm -hmm. It's just to Viral. break through yeah. all the other songs that have been coming out. Because yeah. there's a lot of good songs out there, mm -hmm. but you got to be better than them. Yeah. So mm -hmm. if you're not, then you're not even breaking through. Yeah. The, the, on the flip side of that, though, the beauty of it right now, for example... Um, 
I discovered this band online. They're from Salinas. Mm-hmm. I've had them all. Actually, um, they're they're like a weird combination of cumbia and I look at you when I say cumbia. <laughs> 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 no, him, him, him uh, JD, because he talked about like that kind of music. But anyways, uh-huh. and and, uh, and like I went to their show and I talked to the lead singer and I talked to the the, the rest of the band and and that's the beauty of now, where it's like if you do find someone. You know that that you love the music, yeah. you, they're accessible because yeah, they're not you yes. Know, you know, just just I'm not saying I'm not saying like the word know. we're easy is what you it's like we're, I, easy. I, <laughs> we're easy before like whatever. I feel like we became friends, especially over the years. You, yeah. you right with a, you know right, right. That's been the same case with those guys. And I had them on the podcast, and it's like I I can see like the growth, the growth that's about and the to happen. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. yeah. And that's how I felt with them when I had them on. I was so excited. It was like, oh my God, I have so many questions. Oh my God. Yeah. You know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Fan girls. Like, oh my God. I know. Oh my God. You said yes. I was like, oh my God. Oh my God. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> Touches Joaquin to like, I know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's the beauty of like <laughs> the musicians now are accessible, you know? Yeah. yeah. In a good way. Yeah. Like this. It is amazing that people will even be fans of us and DM us all the time because like you don't you don't think about this right you have a thousand people that follow you or hundreds no no oh, I mean but you know what I mean like you have okay what do you have on Instagram I uh, 500 400 we have friends okay no I'm just kidding. no no no, no the, 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 on, the, on the Instagram page for the voice party uh-huh. it's like in 1200s okay maybe so, yeah. more I don't so, know so think about this right? can we check somebody no, yeah, somebody, yeah somebody oh, get I was like, a I'm on it. You, okay, can you yeah, yeah okay. I will yeah, yeah check thank you, um, because it's crazy to us a lot of those are, I think are ghosts though like don't accounts. even say that yeah don't even say that. yeah don't say that because I, I run think with it. Okay. <laughs> uh, no 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 because it's not necessarily ghost people too and maybe there's just people that just follow for whatever but yeah. like even maybe I'll give the better example of like my TikTok right mm. we've had we two of our videos have gotten over a million this one yeah, past I one has that. got 2.6 million views nice. right and me and my dad were talking we're like it's insane. I can't even imagine 2.6 million people mm. Listen, watching like, my dad, it. like for something that was so dumb. We did not think that was going to go. Viral. We're like, this is the stupidest one. Oh, right? and that one, I was sitting on the couch next to them, and I had at least 10 of my friends from like past jobs and from school and be like, why are you on my TikTok? I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> like yeah. what? I'm not like, but I don't like, even have a but TikTok. Like, when, you going have, on? when you have that many people that support you, even if it's a small amount of number, whatever. Wow. Oh, I thought he had to shit Oh, again. yeah. That, oh, yeah. I was like, exactly dude, you got a problem. Uh, Even I don't shit that much. <laughs> Get some Pepto with dude, some. I Next time, let's take a shot every time you go to the bathroom. Yeah, I know. That's, for real. Good Do you guys have a bottle? Listeners. <laughs> yeah. Listeners. Yeah. No, because then, 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 this, then this interview is going to come out and we're going to be like, <laughs> by like minute 23, and be like, and then we are all in No, You remember? No, but um, if you imagine all those people. That's crazy to think. There's so many, 1,200 people, dude, even that follow you and support you. Yeah. It's beautiful. A beautiful thing, man. And when they DM you, and even if it's just your friends, right, saying, hey, I watched this podcast, it made my night. I, I had to text you one night because I saw the Chemel, uh, the Anselmo, sorry, I call him Chemel, oh. uh, yeah, with moving Chemel. forward with your future. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we call him Chemel because we grew up with him. You know him? Yeah, we've known yeah. him for oh, years. Really? Yeah, he's a f- good family he, friend of ours. He's been super, like, he was neighbors with one of our cousins. Hmm. And, and they've so been best friends for them. years. Yeah, so we've known them. We used to go out drinking. Really? So, yeah. Oh yeah. Oh no. Yeah. no Didn't way. we go to like that thank you dinner or whatever he yeah. put on after yeah, the first? Yeah. 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 yeah, 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 yeah. The guy that was running for mayor. That's how yeah. you guys. Okay. Yeah, yeah. No, so we known him for a long time. But um, I did his cool. podcast too. He's a good guy, man. Yeah, he's yeah. really he dope. I love him. And so, but when you get something like that, like I had to tell JD right away. I go, dude, that was I think one of your guys' best podcasts because like. The way you guys interacted with each other, the way just I didn't really know him. Yeah, but it looked, yeah. but it was perfect. Yeah. You know what I mean? There's something about it that clicked. Yeah. And like when you get when you get those episodes and then you get, you know, people that like, oh okay, I fuck with this now because you know, yeah. you got I really enjoy how you guys do things. Yeah. You gotta feel special, man. You gotta just mm-hmm. enjoy the ride of Maybe you call it 15 minutes of fame or whatever, but you know what I mean? You got to enjoy that. Ride the wave. I I agree to a certain extent 
Because some people take that and they get lazy. Oh, I got this shit, dog. Let me just keep, you know. Mm-hmm. I just want to have fun with this shit. And that's why when we bring you on, like, we just have fun, you know. Right. Like, mm-hmm. I want I, to take over the world. <laughs> no. So that all of us will bow to, <laughs> to Dr. Doom. No. <laughs> no, but we want to take over the world, too. You know what I mean? There's there's certain things. Because, yeah, if you're, if you're having fun with, there's nothing also that makes me happier when people just want to, like, have fun and do whatever. They, like, just, just for fun. And then it blows up or it becomes a serious thing. Like you guys, like whether this was meant to be, whether you meant for this to get this big or not, it still Hmm. happened. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, not oh, you, oh, fool! Oh. Not you, fool! <laughs> the show! I never meant for this to happen, but I did put in all the work. Oh, man. <laughs> I'm gonna catch up to you one day. Oh my god, dude! Working I on got it. you, bro. Then you really, then you really call like a little I, steer down dude, or a little I'm, fucking. I'm. That's not all it takes, fucker. You it, gotta it is, abuse man. your body with food. You, this, this is part of I it. I do both. This is for the. I do both. This is for the pain. <laughs> You gotta abuse that's food in there. That's not a bottle. That's a band aid. Band aid, homie. This is not even a band aid. This is an aspirin. It's a, no. This is a two hundred milligram. This ain't shit. It's a can, can I have another? Yeah. Okay, cool. No. You can. Huh? Do you want to finish? Mine? Uh, no. Okay. Yeah, water. Yeah, water. She's drinking, drinking water. water. Excuse water. me. You don't want the water? What? You can't finish it? Uh, whatever. whatever. I'm not gonna. <laughs> okay, cool. Thank you, guys. Um, well, shit. We are. How, how long have we been on? No. We haven't. Oh, hold, I'm we not, have- hold on. Hold on. That's what I'm saying. How long? 56 minutes. 56 minutes, and we haven't talked about your new song. Oh, oh shit. Man. Talk about it. Talk about it. Oh, yeah. It. We, we have a song. Oh, shit. I need this What's open, it? guys. Sorry. Can you pass it back? Yeah. Okay. I don't want him getting up anymore because he's going to have to go use the bathroom. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I this broke been, the seal too. This has so been I'm the most gonna... chaotic episode, episode of ever. I, I, Bring up a long time. Uh, I, I, one, I don't know about the, <laughs> Never mind. One. Never mind. The one. We, we, no, never mind. we know the one. The we one. know the one. We know the one. We almost died earlier with an inner monologue podcast. Oh my God. They came oh, goodness. and they fucking like. The fucking ceiling almost fell. This, no, this, I, you'll see, and no, you'll see. You'll see when the episode comes out. Did okay. anybody that save me a duct sticker? Duct tape that you guys put on the ceiling <laughs> over us when we came in. That's yeah. new, right? That yeah. just happened. No, it just this thing that the little this this one fell. Oh, oh shit. power went off, and they they Dang. had just talked about how they got blocked from like YouTube a couple of times. Oh, it's like God. they brought all this bad energy here, dude. Like what the yeah. fuck? Yeah, Dang, YouTube was on it. Like we cannot let them succeed. They no. no. Yeah, they can't inspire. The voice party, um, no. But yeah, so encore, encore. That's the name encore, of the yeah yeah. I, yeah. You have a music record. video. We do. Encore. We just dropped a new music video. Yes. Yep. No. Two days two ago. Days two ago, days ago now. As of recording. Three days ago. No. Two days. No. Two today. Friday, we dropped Friday? it on Sunday. Yeah. So in today's Sunday. No, 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 it's been a long process, man. You're with a different girl every episode. You whore. <laughs> you whore. <laughs> That's actually going to be a part I'm of his actually, character. Yeah. Okay. No, so I'm still with my girlfriend. This she is not... let you get away with that? <laughs> yeah, look, it's acting, man. Nah, it's, bullshit. It's, it's, no, it hey, is. Hold on. No, it's you're going to get me in trouble. Hold on, hold on. It's acting, written and directed by Marcos, <laughs> casting by Marcos. <laughs> No, actually, if you look at it, it's all written by our director and oh, okay, okay. casted. Oh, hold on, hold on. Now we hold. have to edit this out. Time out, time out. Because well, now you're going to get me in real trouble. Time out. <laughs> It'll this be is, funny. This is bullshit. I think you've had enough beers. No, no, no. No, <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. This is, I need to call you out on this. All right, call me out. Call you out on something. Remember last time we were, you were here? Are you going to get me in trouble? Yeah, you, I am. You're okay. in triple trouble by this, this point. Is, no, this is your trouble with me. <laughs> okay. Remember... remember <laughs> Remember last time you were here? Uh-huh. We talked about IOP video doing your next video. Oh, shit. You gave okay. us that fucking job, homie. Is there cocaine on the table? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> whoa. Whoa. <laughs> whoa. Whoa. Wait, 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 that's the ceiling. That's the ceiling. It snorted and find out. <laughs> no. Snort the ceiling. Dude. Hey, dude, you, you're going to ruin our Disney contract, man. <laughs> no, okay. Sorry to... Uh, no, 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 okay. You know what we need to do? We need to figure out an IOP I'm Tomorrow's just, June I'm collab. No, for real. We, yes. we'd, actually, we'd love yeah, to do something. We, yeah, we'd love to do something. We, we got to figure it out. Because the other thing, too, is like... 
realistically, our boy that's been with us from the beginning. I'm just kidding. I'm oh. giving you a hard time. No, no, no. I know, but I, I want to do not. something for sure. <laughs> yeah, yeah beat yourself, KD. Um, but I would no. Let's Uncle do. I mean, I would. My fucking song. <laughs> I would love. You know, I'd love to do. Like even if we did like an like another kind of acoustic live performance, if you guys are down, maybe we do something. You know, we'll, we'll think about it. Yeah, okay. <laughs> you let me know. I'll, I'll, I'll have my people call your people. Have, have your people call my people. No, for tomorrow is June. <laughs> um, but but yeah, it, it just you know, it, it was a it was a great video, a uh, great video shoot. I it mean, was. It, just it looked, came it looked out fun. Great. Yeah. Um, it, it was so much fun. I mean, there was a lot of like on the fly shit, huh? Like you guys were. They were there with me. Um, Chenta and Naldo couldn't be there. Yeah. It, it actually. It, was it, he I, shitting? <laughs> he had <a> stomach yeah. <laughs> problems. <laughs> he had stomach problems. I'm sorry. Or was he watching Power Rangers? <laughs> going, oh, look at that. Or Bob Ross. It's Bob Ross. <laughs> when is your birthday? Because I'm gonna get you tums for your. Uh, it was <laughs> actually two weeks ago. <laughs> okay, I owe you tums. <laughs> get him! Get him! <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, yeah. You, you, uh, how like as far as um, inspiration for that song. So, I love this story, too. Okay. Um, so, us three, uh, me, JD, and David, I dragged them to a show that from I the Driver Era. Music. Yeah. I just Driver Era used to be known shit. as R5, a band, five-piece band of siblings. Um, actually, they used to be signed to Disney, too, right? I thought you said they used to be siblings. Like, whoa, whoa. No, no, no. They used to, <laughs> okay. um, they used to be signed to happened. Disney, mm-hmm. and... Um, you know, when they changed their name, they had some better music too. And I was like, oh, they were I, free. Yeah. So yeah, I wanted, basically. they came to SF and I was like, I got to see them. And when we go to LA too, to like go record music, I drag them. I don't give them a choice. I drag them to any show I can find and I buy the tickets and I'm like, hey guys, I already bought it. Let's go. <laughs> like I'll waste all my money. Right. <laughs> yeah. I, it's, I'm not very money responsible at all, but so that's what I do. Right. Fuck it. Yeah. yeah. So we did, we went, <laughs> you know, we had a great time. We had some drinks and you know, we were just having a good time. Uh, the lead singer came back on for the encore though, just played an acoustic guitar and it was just, it was vibey. It was perfect. You know what I mean? And after the show, we all said, let's do a writing exercise. Let's just write something that we would love like our audience to see us come out again and do something. If it's like that, maybe you write some, you know, David wrote something more upbeat. JD writes something else. Actually, you never turned yours in. He, ne- he never even wrote his. <laughs> come uh, on. But it was yeah. all around like an But it, over on, yeah, it was an encore thing. I had a lot of missing assignments so in school. We have, we have about two I had a lot of missing assignments in school. Um, But yeah, so we have two songs called Encore because I was, it was just, it wasn't meant for the band. It was just meant to like kind of think just yeah. try and write something definitely flex our creative size and just yeah. like, right you know at the time we now, were in a little bit of a rut as writers I, well, right me, writers no yeah writers. yeah me too yeah. so it was like all right let's try this let's give us a topic you know encore okay let's write a song around that yeah see what i happens. for one was not in a in a rut no yeah no, no he was he was good you're out wrangling I fucking was... cattle <laughs> 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 oh, um wasn't a fixing your I was deck in the ranch <laughs> Wait, he's, all what well, he's all red now. Let's go, motherfucker. <laughs> oh, jeez. Yeah. Um, no, but yeah. so so that was it. You know, <clears throat> we ended up. Uh, so it was, it was more of the idea around it, not necessarily like a concept. Like it's more of what that experience. Well, kinda, yeah, it was the concept. It, the concept it is a concept. It was, it was, the like, concept it was like encore. capturing the yeah. moment yeah. from what it. Seems it was capturing like, the moment of like something like of what you guys felt and trying to to convey it in your own yeah. words like words in your own eyes yeah no 100 percent. encores are the shit at live shows man yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. When, yeah. when you get that crowd i mean you saw even at yoshi's yeah when you get because because call for you again it was an encore the, amazing the print song right yeah. yeah it was an encore i remember that yeah yeah what's it's, been the best encore aside from that that you just told the story the best encore we've seen. That I've seen? Yeah. Um, Ooh, that's a good one. I love Paul McCartney's encores because it's like another mini show. <laughs> oh, yeah? <laughs> like, he, he'll play like another 30-minute set. Oh, yeah. That's oh, like, and the Maroon encore. Five too. It's just like, I love this shit. It's yeah, great. Maroon 5 will play like another 20 minutes on their encore. But that's because they have so many hits. Um, mm-hmm. But the best one? Carlos Santana. Have you guys seen Carlos Santana? I've seen him saw once him, live, and yeah. he played an acoustic guitar because it was for the um, it was the, the Brit, benefit, School benefit. Brit School Benefit concert, oh. and it was the worst show I've ever seen in my life. Oh, really? Because it was all these rock stars in a giant, you know, arena or like uh, a giant uh, amphitheater the, at the Shoreline, amphitheater. and they were all playing acoustic guitars and stuff. That sucks. 
And no. I was like, dude, I don't wow. want to see Santana, you know, without his pedals. I want him yeah. like. Mm-hmm. You want the full experience. Yeah. 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 yeah but yeah. you, but you hear like, it's just, it was just. <laughs> there, whack. You missed out because I saw. It was him. the most boringest concert I've ever went to in my I, life. I saw him live, uh-huh. and you thought that was his whole show. Like mm-hmm. by the time he finished, I think Black Magic Woman. Yeah. Uh-huh. And then you're like, oh, he's done because he played a lot of songs. Yeah. And then the lights turned off, and then it looked like the show was over. And then he came back and played. Uh, Europa, yeah, Ooh. The, the, his like yeah, yeah. solo song, and then he just went on and kept playing more music, like yeah. for like a half hour more or yeah. longer. Yeah, that's so cool. And then the other one that kind of came close to that was um, uh, Black Sabbath. Yeah, when they toured 2013, mm-hmm. they, they sounded like they were they were done at the amphitheater. Yeah, mm-hmm. and then the lights turned on, like oh they're done, you know. And then and the lights turned off again. And then they started playing uh, Paranoid. Oh, mm-hmm. nice. I don't know if you guys know Black Sabbath. Yeah, yeah. No, yeah. I, I don't know. Yeah, that. it was fucking crazy. That was... Actually, you know what for us? Remember Fun? Oh, I was just about to say that. Yeah, Fun. You know no, the band... Fun. Uh, I've heard of them. Yeah. 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 The we are, we are the, yeah, yeah. 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 That was... They're great. That was one of the... That and was they broke one up of after the this best album. They broke up already? They broke up. They, they broke up, they broke up after right that after, album. Right after... They won the Grammy and they're like, Because all they wanted to do is win a Grammy, get a number one album, and that was it. All they wanted to do was have fun. Yeah. Wow. Exactly. I'm going to go to the... They told us. Can I, can, I, can I tell you guys something I feel about you? Yeah. I'm going to be honest. Uh-oh. Don't take offense to this. All right. I'm already defended. No, no, no. For real. <laughs> He's already defended. I'm already defended. In a way, <laughs> in a way, I hope... Like, I know you talk about Disney and Nickelodeon. I kind of, in a way, hope you don't get... <laughs> book, you know, yeah, uh, I understand signed that signed by them, yeah, because I feel they would put a big old like fucking restrictions, uh, restrictions on you, which does you don't need I'd, already. I'd, I'd rather get signed to Universal or Warner Brothers. I I would Sony. love that where you don't have a muzzle yeah. on you. you we're know not what I'm saying for, we're not for kids. In you're not for kids. I don't think fuck we're these for kids, kids, dude. Fuck them. I'm kids. just kidding. I, <laughs> Fuck them kids. Hey, <laughs> I'm the is now anti-child, anti-kid. No, I'm just saying like, <laughs> I, I don't mean that like that. I'm but like anti-humanity, actually. <laughs> just fucking, yeah, every, I, I just hate it here. So just right, you know, right. fucking. But I hope, I, like, I'm not. I hope you do get it. Like something. Yeah. Big. No, no, hundred oh, no, percent. But I just, I just, I just like see that. Ah, oh, okay. You know what? We, we. I think also you could do big things without them. I, we've I mean, grown. We've grown out of the idea. Of Disney and Nick too, yeah. yeah. Because like, we, yeah. for a long, for when we were starting out with our first managers and stuff like that, we're like, that's gonna get us started. Yeah. Because mm-hmm. to me, you're more John Mayer than you are with Jonas Brothers. I, right. Okay. To a certain extent, you know. I've never heard that, but yeah. Yeah. Like to, to me, you know. As an artist, you mean? Yeah. As an artist and like, the, like, yeah. like flow. Like he's mm-hmm. a little Just bit more, more like, what? Yeah. yeah, I don't like Jonas Brothers, bro. I, 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 I appreciate like that you guys. I know. Yeah, what, you, what's up? You, you have problems? Yeah. Yeah. Well, the fuck is like, like we going like outside? The have, have you clearly <laughs> never listened to the Vine Lines and Trying okay, Times? Right. Exactly. No. no. The man knows his stuff. But you guys Shit. got no, no offense to them. I just. You know, no, when it yeah. comes to music, you can't force me to like shit I I'm just don't yeah, like. No, 100%. So, you know what I'm saying? But, so you, like, but we have to force you because if it wasn't for them, we wouldn't be. I will squeeze the know? shit out of you if you fucking say that. <laughs> what came to say? I don't know I where. Them. Like the band or else. <laughs> like the band or else. <laughs> when it came to them, was it more just because they felt like. Well, they were, but also they felt just like a super fabricated artist, like they weren't real type of thing. Like you couldn't connect to them as artists. I, way. I, to a certain extent, I didn't even know. I didn't even know they were like a Disney or or whatever the fuck. I didn't know they were There's that. A, um, y- yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it, Sorry. Like, what what was? What was it that I didn't like? No. Okay, that works. Oh, is that what you're asking? <laughs> <laughs> okay. I I have a ear for. It's just my preference. I have yeah. a ear yeah. for stuff that sounds raw, and stuff okay. that I could feel like you said sounds fabricated. Mm. Mm. And they can they kind of give off that vibe. And there's a lot of artists that could go off that sound that way to me. You know what's funny? I think the exact. I think that's why we like them because yeah. they sounded. I think so it's raw the exact like opposite, especially in. But that's in the what beginning. Saying, yeah, right in the right. beginning, it was like the exact opposite where they really. Jesus Christ! <laughs> just, just, I'm just kidding. Just, just hold it. Or okay, this okay. microphone just fell. So Free. you are now uh, Freddie Mercury. So I was just gonna say something like that. <laughs> <laughs> You look hot. Thank you. <laughs> um, no, but yeah, I, 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 no, but yeah, but like, I can like, see, I can see why people like them. Dude, yeah. they're good musicians. Yeah. They're good singers. Mm-hmm. I just, this is gonna sound weird, 
but I like flaws. I like sometimes when musicians mm-hmm. don't sound good. Oh, I love no, that, that. that. I love uh, there's the Mars Volta because they like, they don't play by like, two being shit too. Yeah. Like in comedy too, in, mm-hmm. in acting, in fucking yeah. film, in in uh, art. You know, yeah. have you ever seen Basquiat, mm-hmm. the artist? Oh, his yeah, shit, Basquiat. Basquiat. His shit looks kind of like what the fuck is this? But I love it because mm-hmm. it's raw and it, and you can't recreate it's it. Unrefined. Unrefined. Yeah. But it's also hard to duplicate. Yep. The brown mm-hmm. sugar. <laughs> Literally straight up, brown what? sugar. Why did you look at David when you said that? Cause you're, That's you're, messed up. Cause, uh, cause, cause no, well, cause <laughs> I, mean, I wasn't even looking at him. You, know what that, you, know what you fucking says? instigator. You know what that says to me, JD? Hey, we made eye if contact. I come out with like an album and you love it, that means I got to go back and retool some things. Like, you oh, should have all, you should have already. Damn, fucking... shit. Why are we on this podcast if that's the case? Damn. Oh man, we suck. <laughs> no, no, no. no. <laughs> this guy. It's over here. Nando's not allowed to the voice party podcast. Not o- <laughs> There's not even TV playing and you're fucking up. Like. <laughs> I can't wait to see what it's like with it the next time we bring the band over. Like It's going to be like, whoa. If they come, well, they're going to blow up. You know, we up. have a meeting after that last episode. We're like, I don't think we should have the TV on anymore. <laughs> <laughs> it causes too many problems. Good. We did have a Good, happy. because I could not fucking pay attention At that all. time. No, I but not I, okay, first I hope off, you guys aren't offended by me saying I don't want you no. to get booked by by no. them. But I just oh, think no. I think no, that no, would, no, that no. Why would we get offended? No, it's, it's he doesn't saying. mean he doesn't want you to be successful. No, we exactly. Don't. No, no, yeah, like, in terms of level of you're success, gonna like, you're gonna be successful regardless. I already see yeah. it. You know. Yeah, like, yeah, it's just JD saying that he doesn't want us to be successful. I'm not saying I'm fucking. He just doesn't want the machine. I'm gonna like you guys can do without them. I'm gonna flip this fucking table over. I'm, start, I'm not getting my whole episode. Going on. <laughs> All right, we're fucking starting over. Come on. No, 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 bro, no. bro. Starting I, over. I, I'm not saying they will do that. Voice party. <laughs> I'm not saying they will do that to you. But it seems like you know. First of all, why did you say that? Do you have that same thought about uh, the, the Jonas Brothers? Um, to a certain extent, kind of. I definitely, keep saying, as an older person, like seeing what they did, like I can see just that. As artists, they they do represent that perfect pop boy band. Like that's what they were, mm-hmm. and that's different now because like I feel like a lot of the artists I like now I like because of their personalities, and it's the same thing in cinema and film actually. Like I when I notice an artist that I really like or an actor or, an, or actress, and I learn more about them, I can get that much more attacked when I can er, attacked attached <laughs> when I can see who they are behind the camera. And it's right. the same way with singers and everything. And when for the, the Jonas yeah. Brothers, there wasn't a lot of that. At least for me, I know there was a lot of behind the scenes stuff with them playing around and everything. But as people, there wasn't. A a lot of that, and, and I know didn't they're show good. Music either, yeah, they're yeah, still they're good. They're good. Yeah. I, I, and this isn't. I'm not saying anything negative. Don't get me wrong. I'm not like no. pot shotting them. Did I, you like Lady Gaga's five? What was it called? Five. So, I don't know. I'm the, the worst the, person. The ever. last, because like you know about her like medical condition and stuff like that. Since you'd like to know. I'm sorry. Who? Lady, Lady Gaga. Gaga. Oh, Lady Gaga. The last like Lady Gaga thing about her. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like no, her I, personal life and stuff. No, neither did I. Okay, yeah. never mind then. I, I, <laughs> I also or something. She has some. I don't know what she has, but no, I actually didn't know about that. Um, it's like a, a some kind of medical condition that really like affects her. Is it like just, MS or something like that? I don't know, but oh, okay. um, I, it's, I, it's I, something. I, I also a serious don't. medical condition would explain why she wore a dress of meat to an award. No, show. that would. Uh, no. That was <laughs> fucking <laughs> art. That was, that was fucking art, art bro. <laughs> art, bro. <laughs> you know what else too? Oh man. Um. <laughs> To a certain, I keep saying to a certain extent. I'm fucking drunk. Like, <laughs> to a certain extent. Um, no, I this is so. this is something I also. Wait, by the way, can we just can we just explain that JD also told us to bring some brews. Yeah, he did. I did. And you know why? He did. He you know why? He texted me. He goes, I go, do you want us to bring anything? You know, it could have been snacks. It could have been... I knew exactly what he wanted. It could have actually but, been soda. Well, next time, hey. dark chocolate. Next time. No, no, Yeah, no. blood pressure. Dark chocolate. Uh-huh. Blood pressure is good yeah. for blood pressure. Oh, is it? You know me so well. <laughs> <laughs> no, but you know what? Milk chocolate. I also like yes. when uh, there's a sort of mystery <laughs> around... Like artists, because mm-hmm. I like to focus on the music. Yeah, I, I, that's what I like about Budos. I don't know shit about any of these other members. Uh-huh. I don't know shit about them at all, that's, and it's all about the music. That's yeah. what I hate about like when, you know. That's why I hate TMZ, bro. Yeah, I hate that kind of shit, man. I, I don't like, and you know what I don't like? The wh- truth is I, coming out. I, I I don't like when when all of a sudden like now because of social media and age today like that it's everyone's. <laughs> I just grab Phil's hand. 
<laughs> well, I just, I, oh. it's, I, just, like I appreciate him. Oh, okay. <laughs> He's like, I'm, I'm dealing, you know, I know you're dealing with this crap. Um, no, I, I didn't mean it like that. No, uh, I'm, you joking, should, I'm joking. <laughs> just don't acknowledge that. <laughs> <laughs> no, but, um, but with the, the, day, the day and age of social media where, you know, even management is telling us like, yo, we want to see more of your personalities. We want to see you guys post like 30 times a day. Well, the problem is posting 30 times, you know, I'm not, they're not exactly 30 times, but you know what I mean? Posting a lot on yeah. every social media platform and they're all so different. And so you have to come up with stuff and it's not that easy. Even no. with my page that kind of, that kind of blow, you know, blew up a little bit for what I was. Yeah. Um, it's not easy to come up with not at all things that people like. There's it, so much stuff on social media. It doesn't make sense. Like <clears throat> no one, if you're not famous already, no one cares about. No one gives a fuck. No one cares about you. Most but of then, the time. you know, sometimes there's those random people that people do give a fuck about. Yeah, mm-hmm. they break through. They break through. Yeah. That's but, what. That's what I was talking with. Uh, we, earlier, we had these guys of Inner Monologue podcast. They're like, dude, running uh, social media for like, you know, like, cause each one of them runs like one runs Twitter. The other guys runs Facebook, mm-hmm. Instagram. That's what we try to do too. Yeah. yeah. And they're like doing that for your shit is, is, a, a, is a part-time job. job. Part-time oh, job. 100%. Yeah. yeah. 100%. So. Oh, my parents get mad at me for my own TikToks. Don't get mad at me because they're like, do the dishes. I'm like, I gotta make a TikTok. I gotta make quick. a TikTok right now. I can't. No, and like they don't get it until I'm like, hey, dad, <laughs> or like my dad will be working. I'm like, hey, yeah, dad, whatever. Take, Here, take like, this. Can you take like a five second break so I can film this. And he's like, dude, I'm actually working with patients. Like, I I can't take a break. And I'm like, please. And then once it goes, you know, viral, then he's like, okay, I kind of get it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. But it's like they you like. It's Content. hard, man. It's Content. hard. It's yeah. hard. Like this he's, thing. He's it, taking his liver medication. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Someone said. Oh my god! You know, okay, the greatest thing is someone. I have a lot of commenters, and they go, "End the series uh, right before he goes into rehab." So ask him if, if he wants a shot right before he enters <laughs> rehab. <laughs> he goes to AA, his first AA meeting. He's on his deathbed. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm saying like that. Got, damn, like, he just wants our dad to die. Like, no. The balls on this guy. I, the balls. He, He's the one that feeds the him. Ball. I said AA. Hey, 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 I didn't say death. I'm just saying, like, kid. that's where it, it eventually gets it to. Does, like, yeah, like, it eventually goes there. <laughs> liver, liver cirrhosis. Like, well, here, here I broke shot. the seal, so I'll be back. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what? Well, JD, have another beer. No, I'm, 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 I'm actually fine. It's just these guys. I. I like we've hung out and drunk yeah. so much. Like, I'm really not drunk in your backyard. No, and this in my is, backyard specifically. Oh yeah. In your backyard, in the bars, whatever the fuck. Yeah. You know. Um, and actually, it's like to I, be I, honest, I just for I feel comfortable. Who, like, with you guys. don't believe that JD is an actual good guy. He's he's actually a good guy. I know. <laughs> like, I still don't believe I, it. I know, yeah, I know you don't. No. <laughs> yeah. um, because I'd be commenting on all your YouTube videos being like, fuck JD. No. <laughs> That's me. Sorry. I'm user 6425. No. Oh, <laughs> no um, honestly, bro, I got to tell you. And I'm not just saying this on the on the podcast. Actually, I'm just saying this for the podcast. Say, so. say this off camera, yeah, please. I will. Off camera. I we'll cut that right part. Now. I'm just oh, that, no, that you're a good guy. <laughs> Whatever you were about to say. No, I, I, I no, genuinely, man. You have uh, always supported us, man, and we cannot thank you enough. Like I know we, we come here and we fuck around a lot, maybe too much, but I'm, I'm yeah. No, but you guys and, and all of you guys too. I mean, like, you, know, you guys are you. fine. It's the other one. Yeah, that, it's, yeah, it's not the it's not the, the don't don't give up your up. fucking seat anymore, yes, dude. Yeah, <laughs> stay no. there. Uh, just suck I'll your face. dominance. That one. Black excellence. I'll just flex a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> that just brought a whole different thing into this. <laughs> we talked about that He's got earlier. Three percent. I gotta support their three percent. Oh, there yeah, we go. <laughs> You do? Uh-huh. Yeah. Oh, okay, never mind. Yeah, but that's not I'm enough. No, <laughs> that's not enough. We're also like Sorry, Spanish. Also we, were, loud laugh. we were saying a bunch of shit earlier. Black excellence. And it was like, what are you talking about? <laughs> Sorry. Um, what were we talking about? Um, I don't know. I was it also seats related? I think I was sitting in that seat. No, it was something else. It was, yeah, 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 it was. You were a good it guy. was? Okay. No, but you were saying. Sorry, man. I just. You know what? I can't hear with compliments, bro. Uh, you guys know that, right? I just. Yeah. I can't handle compliments. Really? Oh, I don't know. No. Why? No, it's so difficult. It's what do you, you're, so you're, you're just you're humble. That's all that. Is. No, it's not. It's because I know what the oh, fuck's no, up no, here. No, okay, okay. Oh, well, no. you know what? I saw you guys last podcast <laughs> with the guy who was saying, like, he doesn't believe that he's good or that people 
don't. Oh, that was just a clip. Yeah, yeah. The clip. Butch, Butch. The, the yeah. clip where he talks about like. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The, the clip. He doesn't that, believe it that people's yeah. He's that oh, good. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. That you guys were saying the same thing. That right? whole episode, two, three weeks, that, that whole, whole episode is crazy. Yeah, okay. I can't wait to see that. It's crazy. Yeah, I saw that clip and I was like, no way. When he There's said no that. There's no way you don't like believe. When he said that, and like, I've seen this dude perform with. Joey Diaz, Felipe Esparza, Fluffy, yeah. um, right. um, Norm McDonald, all these famous, famous comics, comics, and he's yeah. like been talked about in, in like Joey Diaz's podcast. Yeah, he's been, you know, they they talk about him, like they praise him. He's like they talk about him like he's the next big thing uh, and then he doesn't believe i don't stand the fucking chance <laughs> that's how i feel right. when i hear these like because i also feel that way like i don't think i think to a certain extent people listen because of the guests i have on <laughs> not that i don't we don't put out good episodes because yeah. we put in a lot of work but like but uh, but also that's how you start things though yeah but because I just, you can't because you can't have a, a radio station just for your own music and if no one knows you Right, you had to play other people's music. Right, that's how people are yeah. going to listen to you because yeah. you right. want to hear the, the top forty, you know, pop hits. Right, so people, of course, I mean, you and you can't give yourself shit for that because that's what a podcast is. You guys have either you know you guys are having guests on that are famous, and then the bigger you guys get, the bigger people you're going to get on too. Right, right. So you can't, you know, that's it, not yeah, a. No. I see what you're saying. I appreciate it. I, I, I um, it's just hard to see that for yourself. I guess I, that's, I, I guess that's my flaw. I know. I just don't. I don't. We've had big names already. Yeah. yeah. We've had like huge names, and I'm just like still like, mm, will we ever get bigger? <laughs> and then it's, I see like first we were like, oh, I can't wait to get to 500, <laughs> whatever. Yeah. I can't get to get. Uh, I can't wait to get to 100 followers on on YouTube, a yeah. thousand on Instagram, and it's happened. But it's like, yeah, yeah. But I think we were just oh. lucky. I think we we're just lucky, dude. <laughs> you, know, you know what it is? Don't worry, no. I'll have all wait, these go in the room for all syndrome? of us. No, 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 it's not. No, no. This is what it is. That is right. A little bit. Yeah. That's this kind is, okay. of imposter syndrome. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's I mean, a hundred percent. What it is though, too, is, and all of us here, we're all creators. We're all. We strive for these things, right? We strive for, and unfortunately, we strive for numbers. Sometimes we can't deny that's that. That's what keeps you going. It's what keeps you going, unfortunately, because that's what the that's what the world is that's today. What the world is so set up we're for. not. None of us are going to get bigger without numbers, right? Mm. And it's the only tangible thing that you can like represent really yourself. Represent your growth. Right. It's math. So, it's so with that being said, to, though, fucking, I flunked that math. So no, you know? me too. <laughs> yeah, I, numbers. I was anyway, no, but so, so the joke. thing is, though, yeah, you are. Always going to be striving for something. Yeah. I wanted 100,000 streams. I'll make it up to you so bad. Yeah. And we got it. Oh, you did? Yeah. You've gotten, up, like, you've uh, gotten a lot for other songs, too, I've seen, like, uh, on TikTok. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, that's our biggest one so far. Mm -hmm. But, like, for Make It Up To You on Spotify, we got 100,000 streams. Congratulations. And I saw it. Thanks. Thank you. Yeah. But, no, that was but I'll tell you, I, when as soon as, you know, Nando came up to me, he goes, dude, we hit it. We hit 100,000. My parents wanted to pop champagne. And inside, I was like... I don't enough. feel it's not enough. It's like now I want two hundred thousand. Now I want five hundred thousand. Now I want good. Now Drive, I want a million. Yeah. <laughs> good. Drive, yeah. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But the problem is with that is on course at thirty nine thousand, by the way. Oh, it's at thirty nine thousand. Yeah. That's cool. But again, yes. but you know, but I was telling Nalo the other day. Yeah. I'm not happy because I want it fifty thousand by now. <laughs> yeah. No, exactly. I want it exactly. I want it this by now. Uh, and so what yeah. happens is you start not degrading your own work, but you start just being like you start not giving yourself credit. And aren't you afraid of that? Because then I've, if I've, you I've get very afraid because I, they've had to call me out like 17,000 times th in my life and say, yo. Oh, no. He pieces the shit out of me because he does like, this all the like, time. Be I'm proud. A, I'm a, like, be proud. And I'm like, like I know, but like, like we can we, do we better. Like, yeah. I know this no, song is so great. Much time I'm right there with oh, you. Like, yeah. I know we're not yeah, me and David we're at end goal yet, but we've done so much shit that like. You have to take that step back. I, you know? I get, I get where, like, where all you guys are saying, but I'm yeah. afraid of getting to the point where, like, oh, a million dollars isn't enough. I'm not saying, you know, I'll get to that, but I'm afraid of that. Yeah. Because then you're uh -huh. stuck in a hole where you can't enjoy yeah. shit. Yeah. I'm just happy Never fucking be being here with you yeah. guys. Yeah. That This is it. Yeah, like, we were talking about this yeah. last night because you see where the podcast is now versus where it was last time right, you guys right. were on. Yeah. I mean, We've grown we're by leaps and bounds. Time. And <laughs> last, like, yesterday, JD sent me up, like, what else, what else do we need to, to grow the podcast? 
So I'm like, well, matching headphones would be nice. Uh -huh. yeah. mm -hmm. Matching cameras would be nice. Yeah. But at the end of the day, that's not going to grow our audience. Mm -hmm. Like, no, we're not going to get more subscribers because our headphones match. We're not going to no. get more subscribers yeah. because <laughs> this, the cameras match. Yeah. Doing it, this. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. Working on the actual craft is yes. what's going to push you better, push you to make you better, but also like... I don't want to be in a place where I'm stuck, like wondering, oh, I got to get more. I got to get more. Cause then you're going to be in a fucking hole. Have you, ever, have you guys seen soul? <laughs> I know. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah. That, oh, that, so. that scene where that dude's like stuck in that, make a trade, make a trade, make a trade. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's yeah. where people are with other shit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. In Spanish it says, no tiene llenadera, which means mm -hmm. you don't have, you don't ever get satisfied. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And like, I, I'm, I, you know, I suffer with that with food, <laughs> so I don't want to suffer with that in other, in other things in life. Yeah. I enjoy just hanging out and shooting the shit. If I can do this for the rest of my life, the way it's going right now, mm -hmm. fuck it. I'm having yeah. a good time. I'm good. hanging out with people I like. Yeah, I'm, that's I'm, yeah, and I that's like the greatest, too. and that's yeah. the greatest thing. Yeah, and I love you guys. You, you know, no, we love you guys too. You know, because you know we've been we've been fucking with you guys for a long time. Yeah, you yes. have, and you guys have been fucking like, with us because mm. I appreciate. Yeah, it. I mean, yeah. what when did we all meet? Like, who cares? I love you. No, <laughs> <laughs> Going back to numbers really quick. Yeah, I yeah. joke with um, JD because I have my own podcast on anger or whatever. Oh, yo, like, it's a secret like, podcast. Let, let us like, know after. We'll follow it. And yes. I'm like, spin off. She won't tell I, you. I call it's it. A, it's a, I, it's a I, secret I, podcast. What's the point of having a podcast if it's secret? I call it my. <laughs> Instead of like an OnlyFans, I call it my only one fan because he's the only person that I told. <laughs> I'm the only listener. Only you got fan. Only so why would you? So is it just for you to get stuff off your chest and then just? Kind no, of like, it's it's a podcast. She just tells me, goes, tell "Hey, JD, like, what's up?" And, <laughs> yeah. Basically, basically, but I mean, there's only one like. Just be, like I just started it, and then okay. I was like, "This could be a thing," and then yeah. it was like over quarantine. You know what I mean? Gotcha. So I'm like, "Oh, well, you know, I have a boyfriend, so we could talk about like yeah. chess because we both play chess and stuff." Mm -hmm. But then chess anyway, been blown up. the the it main really point, been. yeah. So it was like, yeah, my only one fan podcast. <laughs> yeah. so Our, that's too clever to, oh, to sorry, keep sorry. it to one fan. <laughs> yeah, right. I, speaking I was of that, ask how deep into chess do you go? Like you discuss. Oh the yeah, they, they talk they, the dragon's tooth. What's up with it? Uh, yeah. Speaking of OnlyFans, I have an OnlyFans. Do you really have an OnlyFans? <laughs> it's going to be focused on the podcast, though. Oh, my God, dude. I'll follow that shit. I almost just peed my pants just when you said that. <laughs> <laughs> I do have an OnlyFans, bro. Like, I'll, I'll, the voice party? The voice party only OnlyFans. Dude, I got to go so bad. Oh, I have an OnlyFans. We've, 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 it's been an hour and a half, bro. I don't want to keep you guys... No, up. we can talk for seven I know no, you can. We, you know I can, too, too motherfucker. <laughs> especially with fucking beers in me. Yeah, no, so how... We're going to have to call an ambulance. No, but I appreciate you guys <laughs> no, still fucking sure. with us, cause like, um, oh dude, I, I, yeah, I, we what Dante Dante last time we had him, Dante, like, yeah. he said, and I that I appreciate the fuck out of like a lot. He's doing big shit. This dude, he's a he's a rich man, but you guys met him, Dante yeah, yeah. Clark. He's yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, he's like even if I I don't know if he hinted that he was or not, cause I would believe it from him. Yeah, he's like even if I'm writing a, a film for D Denzel or fucking you know. I'll come out and do this because I love this. I'm like, Pfft. this was the uh, actor slash writer that was Acted. also on. He had his YouTube on, on show the, too. On the open no, show. he had the a documentary like a, with uh, yeah, yeah, a documentary with Russell Simmons what? and uh, and the uh, Rosario Dawson show that mm -hmm. he had. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Him. Paul. Can you guys okay. keep talking for like three more minutes? Yeah, no, go for it. I got, dude. I'm about go, to piss my yeah, pants. Yeah, yeah, go, 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 go. So as you can see, the fucking Molinar brothers. Yeah, the Molinar brothers have bladders and fucking. That was me last episode. I was literally saying. <laughs> I've been holding it since before we got here. Yeah, you know, yeah. She was just looking at me like, can I go? Can I go? I was you, like, I'll you, cut away. You're that's fine. what you said to me? Yeah. I, I like, thought you were like, I had a question. I thought you were saying like, you had a question. Okay. I have well, a see, microphone. that's like that one episode where I was trying to nudge you like, hey, can you scoot over? You're not in the shot. And you kept swatting my hand away. Like, <laughs> fine. We'll just sit here and not see you then. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Um, you were swatting his hand away. Because <laughs> I was telling him, like, dude, scoot over. He we can't going, see you. And he's like, get like, on. I'm talking. For me. Don't talk to Funny. me. I'm recording. Like, I, I feel like, you know, <laughs> in the zone. I'm in the zone. <laughs> this is chalk it, zone. How is it for you guys, <laughs> this compared to last time? Because it still oh, feels like minute. chaos. You guys are oh, crazy. Yeah. Oh, no, we're just chaotic as fuck in general. Yeah. I think it's probably because also we're just so comfortable with you that we and wind up going off on tangents so when we're trying to talk about one thing and all of a sudden we're... we're that's how I feel with you guys. The problem is this feels like us just hanging out at the bar. 
and we'll just say whatever the fuck we want. <laughs> I mean, that's what the voice party is, essentially. It's a party. Essentially, that's, that's where so we awesome. started. And it's not always like this. Mm-hmm. You know, we have serious shit that we talk about yeah. with other guests, and like, yeah. that's why I like when you guys come over and like I get to make fun of it's like, a nice little break yeah make fun of it's I mean, a break you, just, yeah. you can just fucking talk shit about us the whole time do Lincoln <laughs> Park like, ah, these Man, fucking do Lincoln Park references <laughs> <laughs> yo he better follow me <laughs> right we come back a third oh, time uh, speaking of uh, Mike Shinoda though like for real for real <laughs> he does this thing where he has a he goes live you guys stop laughing for a fucking minute <laughs> Oh, God damn, dude! It, they dude. can hear you in Brentwood. Good. <laughs> just, just I'm look. Glad. For real, for real. Mike Shinoda does this thing where he has a. a I know you walked in in the perfect time. He has this thing uh, where he discovers new musicians yep. and he goes live with them and he gives each one of them on his on his Instagram a slot to to perform live. On oh, his. that's cool. And then if he likes one of the songs, he'll do a project with that like young artist. Oh, Yo. He oh, does that a lot. So dope. just an idea if you guys ever want to just like, hey, motherfucker, I look like you, first of all. <laughs> well, as, when the podcast comes out, we'll just be, send it to him and be like, yo, this guy said I look like you. So he, If we uh, tag like, him a million <laughs> times, maybe he'll see it. He maybe will see it. <laughs> this is, we found Paisa Mike Shinoda. <laughs> 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 get Mike on the show. Fucking <laughs> <Okay>, Lincoln Parque. <laughs> Oh my, god. <laughs> oh my god Lincoln Parque <laughs> Wow En el fin That's what it's translated Ni importa I'm sorry bro. You know what we need to do awesome. one day What <laughs> We should just like <laughs> Like off podcast Like rules or whatever Like you guys are doing Let's just see how Let's just Put the mics on Talk as soon as we get with each other We should we See could. how long we See how long I know that's gonna oh, be We gotta stop planning episode. shit Because last time You came over to my place We hung out We planned Let's write a skit bro Let's do this, this and that Dude And we never did shit Do you guys Wait how much time Do you guys have to After this We can make a TikTok <laughs> hey, We can make He's, a, he's gotta work at like hey, remember six Remember the Benny Blanco oh, And the Juice shit. World interview hey, Same here I, Yeah you got to work too? Benny Blanco and Not Juice World? Mine. You got to When they just interview them together? I'm, I'm fucking yeah, off. Was oh, oh I'm you're good. <laughs> I'm fucking I'm off, like, bro. You're, good, you're off? Yeah, I'm off tomorrow. So that means we're going to JD's house and we're making TikToks with your dogs. Mm. Wait. TikTok. I give away my dog. Oh, my. Yeah, His you're, dog. you're late to the party. I give away. Wow. Well, we haven't been on the voice party f- since the third episode. All I'm saying And now we're close to 100. We are. This is like, by the way. This is like 95. 95. We're very honored I gave him away. Oh, I'm sorry, dude. You know why? Why? Uh, you didn't like him? I didn't like him. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. I called it. <laughs> no, no. For real, for real. Let me get serious. Yeah, get serious. Let me get serious. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Dog, yeah. Okay. That, okay. You guys don't know this. Mm. I, you, only you guys know. You you three. Mm. Um, mm-hmm. Earlier, like, like the end of... 2020 mm-hmm. I injured my back uh-huh. mm-hmm. It was like I have pictures of my spine At the time It was mm-hmm. bad It was bad oh, I'm sorry And I didn't work For like three months mm-hmm. And I didn't get I didn't get like uh, Workers comp it was, it was a big thing dude. It was it was kind of a, It was very like Political Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, 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 I'm not pursuing anything Or whatever But right. it was bad Yeah um, And at the time I wasn't working And I was And I I couldn't collect Unemployment they wouldn't let you con- collect. Not for a while. Uh, Eventually, I had to like mm. prove hella bullshit. Yeah. But still, that's a lot of time. It's a lot of time. Like it. three months Not without anything, dude. Yeah. I had to like, shit. I had to do shit to make money, you know, and yeah. pay yeah. bills, borrow, yeah. uh, right. use up savings, all whatever. You were on the corner mm. all night, huh? All <laughs> that, 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 that was when you started the OnlyFans. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Yeah. The strong arming shit. You know, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. Uh, no, but uh, for real, for real. At the time, and then I couldn't walk. So like I was like I, uh, and then my dog yeah some lady who her and her husband couldn't have kids and they're both nurses and they live in the city they mm-hmm. needed they another dog for their so I gave so we I decided like let's give, give it to them, to them. yeah mm-hmm. and uh, just so I don't have to think about you know I can't mm-hmm. walk them can't feed them yeah mm-hmm. not fit to be a parent 
Yeah. Oh, I'm, I'm, so, I'm sorry to hear yeah. that. Yeah. We weren't really. I mean, I'm glad he's in a good place. You know, he's, he's in a good place. He's being taken care of. Yeah. Exactly. He's not dead. He's not dead, but he's dead to no, me because now he's in, he's in, a, better he's in a better place. place. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> Literally. Um, yeah, and I've seen pictures of him. Like he, he, he's got rich parents, bro. Thriving. Yeah. And he's like thriving. That motherfucker. He sends got... me pictures that he gets, <laughs> and I'm like, he's, oh, they send he's it to you. Yeah, they send me pictures of what he looks like now. That's cool. That motherfucker's living the life. He was at the Ritz Carlton. You know, fucking. North face like dog sweater, <laughs> bro. Like what the fuck? Like I have never even been there. Yeah, what's up with rich dogs? I worked at Tiffany's the other day and they had a whole dog bowl set. I think uh, it was like twelve thousand, twelve hundred dollars. Oh, like they started up. Hey, they had like a uh, family. Again? Yeah. Oh shit. Yeah. yeah. That's where he got the salad. Oh. Oh, if you so if we you guys don't know, it's late because Nando really, really wanted to try JD salad from work. No, no, no. no, no. <laughs> he hadn't okay, had no, it no, over no. a year. I didn't need to try it. It was my favorite salad that we had for lunches at that company <laughs> until I quit. And I had been craving that salad for the past two months. And then he just so happened to have one in the in the um, fridge. I was like, give me that shit now. <laughs> what kind of salad? It. It's like a chicken, quinoa. like a baked chicken. Plant chicken and like quinoa and like a, like a semi-spicy sauce. It's amazing. That yeah, sounds dope. It's fucking amazing. It was, it was, and I've been trying to learn how to make the sauce. And everything you like to recipe. eat, everything, anything you like to eat, I'm gonna just tell you this right now. Learn how to make it, yeah. exactly. Because restaurants are gonna go actually, away. Actually, you know, no, no. First off, oh, they're not going that. away. But I'm, I don't know about that but one. But he's actually a really if good. If we cook. can overthrow yeah. the restaurant power, then we can do this. <laughs> <laughs> Seize the means okay, of production. Okay, don't bring hot chocolate. Bring your, bring your salad next time. Yeah. No, I was actually gonna the say Marxist food revolution. He's actually. <laughs> I don't know what they're saying. I don't know what they're saying. I missed that. This is being kind of careful. No. Um, but, but my dad and my brother. Yeah, I see the food. I actually am friends with your dad on social media. Yeah. So yeah, weird. Yeah. He but talks like, about you. He He's like, oh, yeah, your friend JD, blah, blah. And the kids, he always says, just JD. And we're like, well, which one? Which one? He's like, yeah, oh, you know, not our JD. No, yeah. your other JD. And we're like, oh, okay, we know yeah. who we're talking about. You are the other JD. I, yeah, okay, okay. Do you, yeah. Have you met him before? Yeah. You no. met Earth too. No. You haven't? No. But you know who he is. Though. I know who he is on social media. Because he knows exactly. Because well, we talk about you guys all the time, too. Oh. Like, we talk about the voice party. Oh, we're talking stuff. about, like. And so, yeah, they know who you guys are. I think it's like a. You feel like you know them. Yeah. And they feel like they know I have you. that. I have that. Because we kind of met like that. Like, uh, I feel like I know you, but I haven't met you, kind of a thing. Yeah. 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 We, like, yeah, how did you guys meet? Like, what was the... Well, God, she's a, she's a comedian. Oh, okay. You're a comedian, too. Oh, okay. Awesome. <laughs> New, but, yeah. I, I mean, we have these start. <laughs> Someone starts everywhere. <laughs> yeah. Someone starts everywhere. Yeah, you, we um, just connected over Instagram, and then I was a listener, and here I am now. Yeah. Now Are I'm you from speaker. around here, in, like, in the East Bay, or... Oakland. Or, Oakland? Oh, okay, cool. Because mm. we're all from Richmond, so... Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, I'm yeah. the only one. Yeah, we can do not. these introductions later, bro. Okay. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm cooking with you guys. Now that we're almost at the you end know, of the podcast, we're, the we're, we're actually like we're actually right at the end, man. So like yep. before we go, like for real, for real. Encore, that's your new shit right now. Encore's right? the new song. Go check it out. It's new music KOIT, video. Right? This is gonna. Yeah. Be- actually, yeah. We were on Koit and the Breeze. And the Breeze. Hell yeah. In the past Big two shit. weeks. Those are my Big stations. Shit. Hey. Same brother. Nah, we got we got a little segment at least at like seven in the morning, like on prime time Fuck radio. Yeah. You Hell know, yeah. people going to work. So it was great. Thank you. Yeah, it, it's um. Yes, keep keep, uh, keep clapping. Uh, keep clapping. Uh, <laughs> um, oh, no, but def- my but, ego needs it. But, you guys, shit, but yeah, you, yeah. People so don't understand. Like that's go to the bathroom. that's a really big deal for us. It's a us. big deal. And now that things are opening up again, like mm-hmm. all that shit's gonna come back to you guys. There are shows. We'll be able to do shows, shows in the plan. There's shows in the plan. Yeah. yeah. Live shit is is every artist's bread and butter. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yes. I, I know we were talking earlier about um, not being able to see each other because quarantine and everything, but starting next week is actually when we're finally going to be able to start practicing again. Fuck yeah. Hell yeah. 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 We all, all just finished getting vaccinated, so we're waiting for the last uh, person's two weeks, and then finally we'll be able to get together. And yeah. I got to talk to you about a side project that we had talked to you about before. Yeah, you did. Mm-hmm. I know. Yeah. Yeah. We'll, 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 we'll yeah, talk we'll, about that another we'll, time. We'll do that sometime. We'll do that sometime but, yeah. uh, encore. It's, it's all good. You get, we got our 20%, right? No, <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm joking. I'm joking. Where, where can people follow you guys and, and listen? You guys can 100% follow us at www. 
dot tomorrow's June dot com with the two. Two. Yes. Um, and you'll find all our social media. You'll mm-hmm. find all our videos. You'll find all our songs. Uh, uh, we got that? we yeah, we got some stickers too, and, and you know totally we'll show you. But um, you guys can go on Instagram. It's all tomorrow's June. Mm-hmm. Twitter, yeah. uh, Facebook, everything's tomorrow's June. Um, even YouTube, I mean, yeah. you'll find everything on us. Yeah. Even Google. Look us up on Spotify, Google. Apple Spotify. Music, just so you can hear that new song Encore. Yeah. Yep. The music video just dropped on YouTube, like you were just saying. Yeah. And yep. an individual Instagram. Individual, oh, you got it's two J. All of our names. So I'm two J. Marcus Molinar. Two J. David That's Burton. My- 2J yeah. Juan Diego Berto. And 2J Dan the Molinar. And, and then 2J Chente Padilla. 2J Chente Padilla. And 2J Chente, Chente, Chente Padilla. Can I have yes. a 2J account? Yeah, you can have a 2J account. <laughs> okay, cool. You can be an honorary 2J member. We can't stop you. We can't stop you. I want to be an honorary. Everyone is allowed to have one. Oh, thank you. You just have to make sure that you dedicate your life to us. Okay, I will do that page for that. He's asking you to sell your soul, baby. Yeah, oh yeah. No, no, no. I don't own it. I don't own it. No, just lease it. Lease it. He's like, I sold it three times. It doesn't matter <laughs> but <laughs> i just need it for a month I, I, I i've been wanting to be an honorary like wu-tang member or something but i'll settle for this is the closest thing. <laughs> oh you know what <laughs> you know what though okay after this is done we got to tell you our wu-tang story because our manager got us backstage at wu-tang Oh, oh me, my David, God. me, David, and Uncle so went backstage. Yeah. Yeah. We'll save it for the next one. Save it for the next one. Right. Save it for the next. Yeah. You guys want to come back, right? Oh, yeah, definitely. Absolutely. I hope you guys want us yeah. back. Okay, of we're gonna come to the next one. Your You're family. Just episode one ninety five. We're gonna come back to the next We're one, like and I know you're gonna have a notebook that's just Lincoln Park and Ellen DeGeneres jokes. Yes. <laughs> yes. 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 We're, we're the dysfunctional family that you guys never wanted. <laughs> All right. Closing statement. Closing statement. Yes, sir. Um, we appreciate every single one of you guys. We appreciate all of you guys, the voice party, for supporting us for years. Um, it's been like two years. It's, Come on. Dude, that's, that's, that's more than one year. That's more than, I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. That's more, you got to understand that that means more to us than a lot of things in the world. Right on. It's hard as an independent artist, and you know this as an independent comedian. Um, all of you guys, I know you're new. We, we just met you today, but um, literally... Your support means the world to us. Yeah, you know, 100%. with with the new song out and just in general, with you guys just keeping up with us and and you know giving us that that good push and stuff like that that we've always needed coming on your podcast. <clears throat> this is fun for us. Thank this you. is a privilege Don't for start us. Crying. No, I'm not. Don't no, start no, 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 I'm not. I'm gonna start. Crying. Oh my no, god. No, it's a it's a pri- <laughs> it's seriously a privilege for us. Um, and and it it really you know. It just it makes us feel good. Yeah. So thank you guys all so much. We really appreciate you guys. It's good to meet you. For yeah. And thank you guys for having us. This was fun. Yeah. Thank, Bless thank you, guys. you guys for still fucking with us, and I appreciate. No, we, will always, always, we, always will. we always will. We always will. I know. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys. All right. In the voice party, we're out. Oh, Woo! Tell your friends this shit is dope. <laughs> <laughs>